and just like that, we are back here for another stream of Wizard 101, guys. Hey, guys, this is Kimmy saying I'm back here on Wizard 101. It's Tuesday afternoon, the site of our afternoon stream or in our Tuesday afternoon stream. I'm so excited to have you guys here on stream with me. Oh, yeah. Now, um, if you've been following my streams, right, you're probably thinking they're thinking, um, hmm. Well, I mean, that seems kind of odd. You know, of course, what are we doing as Tekka? Sorry, let me put a little announcement on Discord. Okay, sorry about that. Ooh, so what am I doing? Well, you know, um, I'm doing a side quest. Yep, yeah, yeah. So let me finish this battle, and we're going to get straight into it. Yurak! I'm 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 doing a side quest, Yurak. I am out of Azteca. <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to gain a little side quest action real quick and knock off these two guys, and then I'll be done with it for the day. But yes, I am out of Azteca. I'm I just was caught up doing a side quest. It's okay because you know we're gonna we're gonna keep it going. Hey, how are you doing today, Yurak? You jumped right in. Awesome to see you um, here in the chat today. I've been having a fairly good day. Um, you know, did some summer school this morning. You know, got home. It's been nice and rainy, so the temperature's down like about 10 degrees from where it usually is. That was a crazy attack that they just did on me. That was awful. I mean, I was almost full health there, and now I'm like down at 1,000. Uh, oh, you got the death dino from the kiosk. That is awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's that's a cool that's a that's a cool spell. Hmm. Okay. How do I destroy this guy? Okay. Um. Well, let's do this. Um. Yeah. Oh, just when the pet promenade event started. Well, good. Good. I got. I actually got myself a new pet that I forgot to arm. So we're gonna go over that here in a minute to show you the changes between last stream and this stream because I got to. Oh, raw. I'm done with you, raw. I got a few things taken care of, which was, I, I thought, pretty pretty awesome. Oh, your storm pet is not failing yet. Awesome. That's great. That's fantastic. Um, I went ahead and trained a new pet for my death character, and I trained a new pet here for my um, balance character. For some reason, it is not, um, I guess I don't have it armed when I went into the battle. Dumb me. I mean, it would certainly make life a lot easier if I had it armed. Okay, awesome. Alrighty, so now we just have the one guy left. So let me go ahead and start. I need to start throwing up some heals here. Ooh, even more than that, I need to start doing a reshuffle. Okay, well, let me throw up a little bit of shield action. Aha, uh -huh, so you haven't started to look for a balance pet. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. I, um, the, the battle eagles are pretty good. That's what I've been using most of my of most of my um, stream with this guy, and then I just finished um, training a Quetzal that I that turned out to be really good. So the Quetzal and the Battle Eagle have been really good. Now a lot of people they really like the um, the the fox. They really really like the fox. That that is a very popular one, and so I know a lot of balance guys run around with the fox or the um, the hedgehog. Believe it, I believe I believe. So I got a fox, but he failed at um, Mega, not Mega, at, um, yeah, at, 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 at Mega, yeah, he failed at Mega, so I was kind of disappointed with him, you know, um, we don't want her, we don't want that one, good, okay, so let's just throw some more shields up, why not, that way he can't, like, hit me with a big nail, so, um, yeah, so I'll show you, I'll show you the pets that I got for balance, but um, the Battle Eagle turned out to be pretty good, and I like it a lot, um, I changed. I just finished training a Quetzal that's turned out to be a pretty, a really good pet. I'll show you um, what I got out of him. And um, the fox, you know, it started off good, but unfortunately, it, it failed on me, so I wasn't able to get the training out of it that I wanted. So hopefully, next time I'll be able to draw a lot more out of him. But yeah, I'll show you here just as soon as I get out of this fight. Hey guys, this is Kimmy Say. Thank you for joining the stream today. I am here and doing my Wizard 101 stream. Remember, I stream Wizard 101 twice a week, um, today and on Saturdays. And I'm happy to see so many people already hopping into the stream today. So it's pretty awesome. Okay, let's see here. You know what? I really need to do another heal. Okay, Majors is back in the house. And uh, did you um, drive back, I guess? Hmm. Yes, we've been talking pets. You normally get pets that give you at least one blade, so I was thinking an opossum. Yeah, the opossum's good, but I haven't looked at the other options. Well, I'll, um, I'll, yeah, I'll show you what I got, because I think it might might interest you. It might interest you. Let's get, who do I want? Neris. Neris could just be a problem, but I need a heal is what I need. 
Okay, so uh, my suggestion. Oh, you're still here? You leave tomorrow. Okay, so you, you just have to be back on your account. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, very happy to see you, Majors. And, uh, yeah, it's been good. I had a good week. Sat, I did a major long stream Saturday and finished out as Tekka. I'm just kind of doing a side quest that, you know, I started before I, I got off today, you know. Um, but that's that's okay. There we go. Let's put that on the faint. Nice. Okay. And now if I can just get the right spells to pop up, I think I'd be um, I'd be pretty happy here. Well, awesome. Yeah, the Opossum's pretty good here. Like, a lot of people like the Opossum. I was doing one for Blades. I was doing one for Blades, and that's why I got my Battle Eagle. He's really good. For, he's really good with... They, get, they usually come with a Blade. Um, the Foxes usually come with a Blade. The Opossum usually comes with a Blade. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. Anyways, yeah. So those are those bits are pretty good. Yeah, you won a lot and finished Chrysalis and Polaris this weekend. Oh, good for you. That's that's awesome. Yeah, so I'm I'm going to be jumping into Chrysalis here in just a bit. Why are all these things popping up? I don't need any of the fists. My goodness. Ah, yes. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty great. I, I'm excited because, well, anyways, you know, the game's, the game's fantastic. We're getting ready to go into a new world, and I can't wait to get there. Yeah, me too. It's it's going to be good, 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 good stuff today. Very good. Well, we got Yurak. We got Majors. Thank you, everybody, for hopping in. Um, let's see. Ooh, you know what? I did a really good one of those earlier. Mm, okay. Let's go ahead and put another shield on real quick. Is easy. It gives, I think, 7 million XP total. Hmm. Very cool. I don't even I don't even watch the XP numbers anymore. They after they gotten so high, I just kind of let it do its thing. You know, as I get XP, I get XP. I guess the only downside is once you um once you hit max level, any I, I guess any new XP just kind of you know you you just kind of lose it. I guess. So, but anyway, I'm not I'm not max level yet, so I still got a ways to go. Okay, why is that not? Hmm, maybe I was just clicking the wrong spot. Okay, check it out. Got my health almost back to order. We're going to go ahead and put a big faint on this guy. Yes, I have the death amulet. Oh, yeah. And I'm really liking the death amulet. It's it's um, It's been pretty good. I'm getting ready to use the death amulet here in just a minute. I'm just powering up, um, just powering up as much as I can so I can get as big a hit as I can on this guy. I actually criticaled with um with this spell earlier and did like eight grand, eight thousand in damage. I was pretty pretty surprised. So you know, yeah, the death amulet's starting to starting to work out. Not a bad option at all. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get Chimera ready just in case we need Chimera. And I'm still waiting for a few more things. So let's go ahead and throw another heal because he's going to hit me again anyways. Might as well. Yeah, the death amulet I'm pretty excited about. And I was pretty happy that. I, I, no, I noticed this the other day. I, well, I didn't notice this, but I just noticed it. As I was looking through my inventory, and I must have missed it. I guess during one of my run-throughs, I picked up the... I picked up the... What was it with this character? Anyways, one of my three characters picked up the Exalted Life Amulet. And I think that's fantastic. The Exalted Life Amulet. Boy, I'm kind of stoked about that. I don't know um, when I'll use it, but boy, it's, it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put that on him. If I get a few more blades, I'd be happier. Let's see. And um, I can't wait to show you the new pet that I finished training and his new stats and what I'll be using. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, so I got I got the Exalted Life and the Exalted Death. I've never had the Exalted anything, so it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, Waterworks is awesome. I like Waterworks. It seems like it's easier to get stuff out of there than some of the later dungeons for gear, you know. I still need to go back through Tartarus and see if I can get the robe because I have not had a chance to go back and run Tartarus again and get the robe. Plus, I need to go go to Tartarus, hit Kronos a few times because I really, really, really do want the... Um, I need some more amber so I can do some spell action. There we go. That's what I was looking for. There's another blade. Nice. Okay, I think we're almost ready to give this guy a headache here. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty excited about um, the about these. I'm going to have to like pick up some death treasure card attacks for like some of the higher level death spells now because um, yeah, this is this is doing pretty good now. If I can get, if I can pull off a critical with him, I'll be I'll be stoked. Okay, nope, not yet. Um, we'll probably need him more than we'll need him. Okay, let's go ahead and throw another shield on. 
You're just waiting for the Crown Rewards event. Oh yeah, I remember you. Um, you like those. It normally comes in the holidays. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, hopefully, hopefully, I'll pop up here and you'll be able to knock out a few more things. Yeah, Fourth of July. Yeah, that's this weekend. So, yeah, hopefully they get that going. I, I was able to tra train two new pets this weekend, um, and I, th I think it turned out fairly well. I was pretty excited about it. Hmm. You need to unlock some new zones. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I know you're zone limited. You are. You are not doing the monthly. You're just buying the zones as you get a chance. So that's that's a pretty that's a that's an interesting way to go about it. I'm I'm uh, I think that's cool. Okay, blade storm. Let's throw up another blade, and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and enhance that with vengeance, and we'll and we'll we're going to knock this guy to the third dimension here here in a minute. Okay, guys, thanks everybody for hopping in on the chat today. So let's talk pets today since um, Yurak brought that up. I'm going to be showing off my brand new pet here in just a minute since we just had a uh, member benefit pet XP weekend. I would love to hear what you guys think about um, your about about your favorite pets. Now, um, what you try to get out of pets because some of you guys use a lot of different terminology for training pets. I haven't figured out like triple triple uh, triple dubs or something anyways yeah so i mean you know what is your favorite pet so far like you, you've got or should i say let's go let's go by class what is your favorite pet per class okay should we go ahead and go with him or him or him oh my goodness we should oh chimera will probably just demolish him let's go for the chimera let's do chimera okay a triple double okay yeah see that's that's some language so a triple double is like what um isn't that like um, you get damage, you get critical, and um, something else, you know. See, and, that, and that's where it comes, yeah. Double, okay, double damage, double crit, double may cast. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Chimera was the right choice. Good job, Chimera. Very nice. claims me. The moon platter is hidden among Ekchua's possessions. Okay, so now I can go ahead and fix up the moon thing, and we're good to go. Okay, so let's go, let's go out here. Let's talk to her. Okay, so um, usually at the beginning of every stream, if you guys are just joining, I let go through stats, and since we are actually getting ready to hop into um, Chrys Chrysalis, since everybody's here and since everything is going, let's go ahead and go through the stats, of my guy, and I'll show you some of the new stuff. You're not good at the terminology for pets, neither am I. I, I you know, because I've never really done a whole lot of talking. Okay, so. First off, let's just talk pets. So um, I've been using my beast, my eagle here forever and ever and ever. And he's really, he's a really good pet. In fact, let's hop in there. Um, not that eagle. The um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Queen Dakota. She's always been my main one. And she's, and I like her. She has a dragon blade. Um, well, may cast dragon blade. She gives us a blade storm. Um, I, got, I got critical balance assist. The mana gifts, okay. The pain giver is good. Um, the curse giver, so I get a, so it gives me additional spell, and it gives me, and I get, I put an energy thing on it, which is okay. So that, I mean, that's the one I've been playing with forever, and I've been, and I've liked it. You know, I've got, I've got a few other pets, but the one that I'm using now is right over here. It's Little Cliff, and I just finished training Little Cliff. Little Cliff comes in with a balance blade, and um, I got balance striker, so I got a big crit on him. I still got a mana gift. I got pain giver and spell proof. But I also got the critical striker on it as well, and then I went ahead and used um, balance giver for a jewel. So I'm getting a whole bunch more crit on that. So what does that do to my stats? Well, let's go ahead and just do a stat walkthrough like we usually do here at the beginning. Well, not yet. I haven't. I haven't gotten there. I haven't gotten to the point where I can max them. Well, you know, not not sure if I know how to get the best for that. You know, I'm still. You know, I'm still sitting at like 94 at the moment. Um, let's see, your training point's 15. So here are my stats. Right now I'm sitting at 58 plus 24 in damage. So that's, um, what, 50, 60, 70, okay, 82. So I got 82% on my damage. That's, I'm happy with that. Um, I've got 29 on my resistance, 8 on that. You're hatching a lot, so you get all the stats over 250. Okay, well that's good. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't gone that far. I just don't have time to do that much, um, on that. But what I like about it is... Oops, you know what? Let me go ahead and... Where is it? Where is it? Nope, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Nope. 
Okay, I did not. There he goes. Little cliff. There we go. Now back to my stats. Now if we look at my critical rating, because of his critical additions, I'm now at 51% critical rating, which is pretty nice. When you throw vengeance on that, you're at 70%. And now you're getting a little bit better. You're getting like one, two, three, four. Yeah, you're almost getting four out of five. You're getting like, you know, 3.5 out of five, you're going to get a critical. And then um, I also have a decent block rate across. Not great, but it's okay. You know, armor piercing in there. Yep. I haven't figured out how to totally get my pets totally max statted out, but I, I you know, I just train them as best as I can and see what I, see what I get. If there's more secrets to that, I don't know. Okay, so um, let's, uh, let's finish out this side quest, and then let's go talk to Cyrus about the new quest that they're about to send us on in Chrysalis. So that's, that's what the plan is today. And yes, we are done in here. Ah, so you're hatching lots, so you get all the stats over 50, then you train pets. Okay. Yeah, I haven't, I wasn't, I wasn't messing with the, with the, um, with that. I wasn't focusing on that. Yeah, I, mean, I, I was, I was just happy to get the pets themselves. I guess I could have messed with them more to get higher stats, but, um, I don't know. I guess I've heard different things. So let's go to Zakalo, finish out this one, and then we're good to go. I might just do that on my next pet. I might go ahead and just hatch and try to get those stats up to where you're talking about, and then we're going. Jeez, jeez, thank you so much. Ah, I needed to hydrate. That's good. Okay, well, as you can see, as Tekka is falling apart, I was just finishing a few side quests before we got started today. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the moon platter, and then we are going to get going. Probably needing several hatches. Yeah, I expect to have probably have to need, need several hatches for sure, for sure. Okay. Moon. You bring the moon near the moon. Very good. Yeah, I'll probably need. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to probably need several hatching. I just haven't haven't focused on trying to get those stats up. I was just focusing on trying to see what type you of stats I was going to get. The secrets of the moon school are ours once again. You have done a great deed for the people. Ah, yes. I don't like training pets to begin with, so, you know. And there's still a lot I don't know or I don't think about. Okay, so let's go talk to... S Actually, what spells do the moon kiosk give? I, I don't use the moon spells all that much, but might as well look since we're over here and since we just spent the time when we re remaking it. Okay, awesome. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And there we go. Uh, you would have been playing instead of breeding. Yeah, if you had the zones open. Yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's what I thought we'd have. Okay, well, let's get out of here. But since I'm stuck, you're pet hatching. Well, that's a good way to use your time then, Yurak. That's a good good way to use your time. My, my thing is, I've got so much going on right now with summer school. Until summer school gets out, um, you know, I got I to gotta, um, take, I got to decide which is, where, where do I need to spend my, spend all my, um, what do you call it, my grind time, yeah, because, you know, I play two grindy games, um, Wizard 101 can be super grindy, and um, what else, oh yeah, I play a lot of Minecraft, which, yep, that is a grind of a game as well, so, uh, I'm just trying to make sure I balance out and I get stuff done in both of them, like I just released a new Let's Play today, showing off um, a, a new build that I did in my world, my, my, my docks with a new ship that came into port and a new crane to, to um, do all that. So it's been, it's been pretty good. Uh, you love the fish in the vine until you zoomed into it. <laughs> I think the fish in the vine is kind of a cool little, cool little um, um, plant. I think it's neat. Do a few of those. I cannot believe these things to be true. To Headmaster Ambrose at once. Okay, so there you go. I guess that's all I was. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, let's go tell Master Ambrose all the bad news because that's where we're. That's what we're doing. The fish is sad because it's stuck. Yeah, it is stuck. Yeah, you're right. The fi the fish on a vine, for sure. Yeah, I I actually made some. I actually just got some angel oaks grown. I thought those were pretty neat. It is. Oh well, yeah, it is sad, Yurak. It is. Okay, but you, but you can get a lot of tempest out of them. Okay, here we go, Merle Ambrose. Hello, you can Were zoom you and see the sadness. In overcoming the shadow. Oh my, your tail numbs my heart. Ah uh, yes. Well, 
Tell us some more. Organth has grown more powerful than I could have imagined. But do not lose heart, my child. Even death is not the end. Okay. The good people of Azteca have fallen the one beneath, beneath the fire, fire and shadow. Yep. Shadow. Yes. Not all is all lost. Is not lost. Do we eventually no, save them? All is oh. not lost oh, you at don't all. plan it. Well, that's okay, Iraq. We will remember their sacrifice. We will tell their stories in, in the, the dark, dark of, of the night, night for warmth, warmth and for courage. And, for and soon enough, dawn will break as the sun rises on a new day. The <laughs> shadow must recede. Not now, there yet. Said, go and prepare yourself. While I rally, ah, oh, my dear young wizard. Okay, I guess he's rallied the forces of light. Last it is long past time we didn't take him very long, did it? We must rally the forces of light. Sadly, the council is reduced to only Diego, the Emperor of Mushu, Lydia Grey Rose, and myself. I need Okay, your so now we got to go rally the light. Okay, so past relationship. Travel to Zavaria okay. and convince in the mystic White Stripes. in Younger. Then go to Avalon King Artorius and find King Artorius. And... Well, you carry these messages. I will send Diego to ruined Azteca. To call... Deliver your messages and then return here at once. Okay, let's go deliver these messages so that we can go ahead and start moving on to the secret, secret incursion quest on Chrysalis. It's pretty interesting. I kind of like how they set up the quest line for the beginning of Chrysalis. Different than some of the other, so than all the other ones. You're kind of like sneaking in, kind of like as a spy. You know, it's kind of fun. Kind of fun. Okay. First, off to Zafaria. We got to get Inyaga in on everything. What's this say? Yeah, I know what's going on. I know what's going on. Okay. Dude, there it is, Zafaria. Here we go. So, how has everybody been doing? I hope everybody's had a good start to their week. Mine has been fairly great. Okay. And I'm looking forward to the end of the week because this is our last Jumbo, week of summer school wizard. here. It has been some time. Mm. Even from here, I can see that the shadows grow long across the spiral. Yes, they do. You wish my help? Of course. Of course. I will do what I can to aid one who did so much for my work to join the uh, Council yes. of Light. Yep. You bestow a great honor upon me, wizard. Tell okay. Melambros I will come to his side at once. So he was easy. Now, let's go to Avalon. And let's go get King Artorius in on it. Okay, zoom in down here. There we go. Very nice. Too bad there won't be any Aztecosaurs on the Council of Light. It all went pretty dark over there, but that's okay. Things will improve. Yes, okay. Here we go. Av yes, yeah, I do like Avalon. It's pretty cool. Wizard back amongst us. But I can tell from your visage that dark times are still ahead. Yes, Mel they are. Ambrose asks mm -hmm. me to join the Council of Light. Oh, that come on. I cannot do. For there is still much work I must do to restore the land. But Avalon yes. will not refuse Ravenwood in this hour of need. Okay, so we'll Instead, get the Lady of the Lake. The Lady of Ooh. the Lake will go. Ooh, you have a quest go to Avalon. Place. You'll like it when you get there. It's pretty nice. Tell her it is my oh yes, it is. But before you go, yes, I have one, one more, more gift. gift okay. for you, blessed knight of the silver rose. You may summon its power whenever you feel the darkness press Ooh. upon you. Use it only for justice. There we go. I've got the balanced version of King Artorius now. It doesn't really seem to do as much damage as, you know, wait a second. Let's look at this spell. Okay, so this is the balanced version of it. Let's see here. I want to take a closer look. Yep. Now, see the, ba okay, so it's 725. It adds negative 40 and a plus 10. Boy, that's so much weaker than everybody else's. Like, I think the Storm one's 1,100 points of damage. Okay, let's go ahead and take a few of him out, and we'll just, we'll leave one. We'll try it. You know, I'm trying to think. Okay, hmm, plus 10 Pierce. Well, that might, that might make up for it. Anyways, yeah, yeah. It doesn't seem quite to be the powerful spell as some of the other ones. Okay, so let's go to the Lady of the Lake. Oh, at the lake shore. Okay, so we have to go find her. Okay. Ooh, alrighty, alrighty. Now, I think we can get in through one of these, maybe? Let's see here. 
Not Caroleon. I think it might be easier to do it over here. The catacombs. Nope, 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 nope. Um, boy. I got something like that. Dundara? No, no, no. So maybe this one here. Nope. Oh, what the heck. Let's just follow the arrow. Okay. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Let's go find the Lady of the Lake. Let's get through this. Very good. Okay, anyways. Yep. So it's it's been pretty good. I'm pretty excited. You know, going to Chrysalis will be a lot of fun. I can't wait to get to level 100. I'm at level 94, which is good. Hmm. You can tell that I can't... I don't remember where I used to run around in these places. Okay. Here we are. Let's stay out of some fights. Okay, very good. Oh, hello, loud dude. Yes, fantastic. Glad you're back. Have you been having a good Tuesday? My Tuesday has been fairly, fairly good as well. We've been kind of talking a little bit about pets with Yurak here. You know, I'm kind of curious. What is your favorite pet per your favorite school? So, like, if you're a death school, what is the favorite pet you've ever had for death? Or if you're a balance school, what has been the favorite pet you've had for balance? There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of good pets for each of the schools. Just kind of, kind of curious as what your favorite one is. That's kind of like the question for the first hour. But yeah, everything's been good. Yeah, the regular streams twi um, twice a week for Wizard 101 and twice a week for Minecraft. So I guess I do four total streams a week. Um, Tuesdays and Saturdays are my Wiz Wiz streams, and then Sundays and Fridays are my Minecraft streams. So very happy to see you hop back in again. It's been a very, very good week for me. Right now, I'm just trying to track down all the Council of Light people right now. So let's see here. Uh, yes. Is that the... <laughs> there we go. Let's hop right in here. Well, I'm glad you're there as well. Glad you're there as well. Okay, now we have to come through here. I'm sure there's probably a quicker way. I just don't remember it. Mm, yes. Oh, is that still on fire? Gosh, I lit that on fire a long time ago. Somebody really needs to go ahead and put that out. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. And there's the back door to the lake. Ooh, fantastic. Nice, nice, nice. And now all we have to do is go all the way around so we can talk to... I thought there was another way. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Okay. Well, no worries, no worries, no worries. Okay, we have to get to the cave. Nice. All the way around. Survive the Ark. Hello, how are you doing today? Right now, I'm just kind of focused on trying to get through this so I can go ahead and move on to Chrysalis. So we have to do all the pre-quest quests. Or shall we, yeah, before we get the special mission from Ambrose and the Council of the Light. Oh, yeah. Very good. Oh, you're playing some Overwatch at the same time watching the stream. So sorry if you're not there every second. Oh, yeah, no, Overwatch, that's that's a game you got to keep your focus on. Uh-huh. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Cyclops for a long time. Okay. Farming Tartarus. Yes, I need to farm Tartarus some more. Ah, Chrysalis. Well, we are about to get right into it, Zenga. Now that you're, now that I see you there. There we go. Finally got to the lady. Wizard, you stand at Woo, the center that took of the forever. Store. You bear word from King yes, I do. Of course ah, I'm you're in Quest 234 of Chrysalis. You Zenga, you're getting to the, the close to the end. Shadow. That's good. Awesome. Very nice. Very nice to hear that, Zenga. I don't think I'm going to be catching you anytime soon, though. Yeah, it sounds like you're really close. Very good. Okay, now back to Merle Ambrose. Good, good, good. Okay, guys. Let's get on in here. Wow, it's so awesome to see everybody hopping in on stream and hopping in on chat. You guys are you guys are fantastic. I'm going to throw the question back out again, especially with some of those of you who just joined. First question of the hour is, what is your favorite cool pet for your favorite school you know so if your favorite is death school what's the what's the pet you have come to like most for your death school wizard or what is your favorite balance pet you've come to like the most quick you flew with the speed of gamma there wings. we go what did they say i'm pleased to hear yes, in Yaga white stripes Ooh, your current well what's your current pet zanga tell us about it mm-hmm 
It saddens me that Artorius will not fight I'll at check my side. stats, by the way. Okay. But the lady is a remarkable spirit and will serve us well. Okay, very good. Now, so we must finish our preparations. Okay, Morganth has retreated Morganth to the Shadow Web. Has retreated to the Shadow Web. Ooh, you made a fire whiz, Anna. That's awesome. Fantastic. Chrysalis I love fire wizards. They are so much fun to play. Alien world. On the spiral key we once had. Okay. Was so we must first new. Okay. Tiny Isle, broken from the edge of Chrysalis. Visit the school okay. of ice. Okay. Bison get. And use Professor Grey Rose's Okay, so we go to the Isle of Arachnids. To, to, to craft a new key. Arachnus. Your so current pet arc. Well, what is your current pet? pet? You know, tell us about what your current pet is. You guys are awesome. Yeah, yeah. my favorite pet's my current pet. Uh, yeah, well, you know, could you give us a little bit more information there, you know? But, um, yeah, fantastic. Well, awesome, Anna. I hope you're doing good with that. Check it out. Okay, Zenga, which wizard's yours again? Yours is what? A Storm Gulcher. Yes, for Storm, that is a popular pet. That's an awesome pet to have for Storm Gulcher. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought you were Ellie. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and inspect, and let's take a look at your pet. Okay, so you're run so you're running a gulcher then. There you go, mega gulcher for death school. Mhm. Mm yep. Yeah, the gulchers are pretty cool. You get those three awesome cards out of it. Looks like you're running triple crit on that pet and and triple damage. So you got double triple on it there, Zanga. Very nice. Three crits, sword, and a shield. Very cool, Anna. That's cool. All right, a very cool arc. So a three crit and a sword and a shield. That's nice. That's nice. I just finished training up my new pet, and he has double crits and double hits. Yeah, double crits, double damage. And a blade, so I'm pretty you. happy with that. And he has a... Archway. What was his make cast? I don't remember. Isle of Arachnus. Isle of That's where we're going. Look at your robe, by the way. Oh, Bone Mash. He's bone Smasher Robe of Strife. There. That looks pretty cool. Nice, good critical rating on that. Awesome. Yeah, nice, nice robe there. Yoast, I haven't seen you in chat for a while. Awesome to see you there. Very, very fantastic. You now have a 71 chance to crit. That's awesome, Ark. Very, very cool. I cannot wait to get my wizard up to the point where I can get that high of a critical percentage. Okay, Ice Archway. Let's go through here and let's check this place out. Nice. Storms with their cool boots. I know. They're cool boots. They got cool boots. I think that's part of being a storm, though. You got to have the cool boots. Okay, so here we are. Oh, yeah, this is where we're doing the big meeting so we can forge the new key. You want your death critical boots, but I am not getting them. Oh, yeah, that's tough. Ah, young wizard. What kept you? Oh, well, you know, Welcome I got things to do. To the Isle of Arachnus. Okay, very nice. Arachnus. Is a fragment of the spiral Very good. We world got some, of chrysalis. We got an info Broken dump going on right now. Years ago by Morganth in her recklessness. Very cool. You can see chrysalis Start of Chris. Yes, ball. Yost. I finally Sound made it there. It gives birth to terror. And draws nightmares like the candle pulls them off. Morganth is learning. Song of creation from the Lord's Night requires her focus, but she will learn it. When yeah, she I bet she would. It, she will brush us aside like motes of, of dust. Morganth has shielded Christmas from us. And without With a spiral, a spiral key, key, there is no, no easy world. Way oh, to get there. my, you will not like this world. Oh, I don't know. I've, I, so I, I already like the way it looks. Key. I think it's a really cool looking world. Has such a thing been done before? And I not played a lot of it with time. my storm, just not uh, just not most of it. Okay, now there are some things I do get annoyed with, but we'll Create talk about that as we head. Uh, we need, we need elements to buy chrysalis, self tried life, death, myth Christmas must be served. Also. Okay. The Condor Woods were a wondrous yeah, place. yeah, Bloom Pot until Morganth burned it down. Now it it looks like my life house. <laughs> with Anger still, Anger. there is hope. Life I can take root. Okay, the last Condor tree nearby, guarded by the wordless loom of these tree folk hall is left of the once great forest. The Condor seed to us. Okay, well, let's go and um, go fight some guys for the Condor Seed. Let's see here, which deck am I on? Let's go ahead and there we go. And I actually got Little Cliff locked in. Okay, wood, Wordless Woodsman. Wordless Woodsman, very nice. Looks like your life house, that's hilarious. I think it'll be fun, Zanga, I cannot wait because this is almost like brand new content for me, a lot of it will be. So I'm super excited to go through it and um, just remind myself about what most of it is. Okay, so here we go. 
Very nice. Oh, I like the music. Def definitely a step up in um, intensity. Let's see here. Let me bring just a little bit of that in. There we go. Sorry, I was adjusting my volume levels there. Awesome, awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. Turn that on right there. Well, your choice. You like it until you get annoyed with the bosses. Oh, I've already been annoyed with a couple of the bosses. You know, um, I know, uh, I know. Craven wasn't much fun when I went through with my storm guy. My storm guy is currently stuck at the queen bee, um, so I haven't gone back in there to try to beat that boss for a while. But you know, I mean, it all comes and goes. It all comes and goes. There's always bosses you like and bosses you get annoyed with. There we go. Let's go ahead and throw that blade up right now. Mm, good, good, good. Yep, that's my new snake blade. Very nice. I just haven't had any luck in getting Maycast healings with any of my guys. Mirage bosses are easier than Chrysalis bosses? I hear that. I've heard, I've heard that said before. Heard that said before, for sure. Okay, well, I think we're going to be able to do a raw here pretty quick. So let's go ahead and throw Vengeance up, and then we will strike. This is kind of cool, this little like in-between world. They keep on trying to expand the, the quest, which is kind of fun. Oh, there's another one. Nice. Well, that's good. I don't think I can run that at the moment. Let's go ahead and just do on Ra. Okay, Ra, give me a good critical and we might finish this. Very good. But those guys do have a lot of health. These guys would probably be pretty good guys to farm for some um, animus, I bet. Yeah. 1 to 238 soon. Yes, Zanga. You crush those guys in Chrysalis. You take those quests and knock them down one by one. There we go. With so did I get what I wanted? When scattered, you recover a hard seed about the size of a plum. Good. We got the seed. Fantastic. Let's go down and, and tell our Emperor of Mushu that we've got the seed. Very good, here we go. Poor tortured creatures. Perhaps we will be able to help them one day. But today is not that day. We must work quickly. Yes, let's yes. work quickly. You are correct, there, Diego. Until you fight good the bosses, reason. yeah. You got the conduit seed. Yeah, they are. This will act as a conduit for life magic and be one of our anchors for the Now we turn from the spark of life to, to the, the black, black void of death. Of death. Only boss and talk two thirty nine to two forty seven. <laughs> we must take the last condor seed. Well, that should be interesting. It with a symbol of closure, the lady of Sounds the like fun, doesn't it, Yurak? Okay, Lady of the Lake, there she is. Okay. The strongest magic is sympathetic. Yes. We draw on the life and, and the death and the myth, and the myth of, of a world, world to recreate what, what was lost. lost. Okay. Morganth trails Lots death of fun. and destruction in her wake. So much that so clings much her like bitter smoke. Okay. The spiral still weeps for Azteca. An undead Azteca saw dwells okay. here on the Isle Arachna. This grinning Kalaka is a lost remnant of the first world. Okay. Just battle grinning Kalaka and get the underworld compass, a relic of death magic. Bring it to Queen Zenzen Seven Star. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Hmm, it must be this way then. Okay, ooh, this one's downstairs. So let's go down this way. I didn't even notice that pathway until a second ago. Okay, the Grim Kalaka. Let's go ahead and just change to a different deck. That's why we're, that way we're kind of prepared for it. And let's get, let's take him down. Grinning Kalaka. Ooh, he has the purple one. Very cool. You'll probably get out Polaris before you get to 240. <laughs> you might be. Plus, well, yeah, it only has 99 quests. Plus, you know, I play a lot slower than than you guys do anyways. Okay, yeah, this guy should go up pretty quick. So let's go ahead and throw a feint on him. Very nice. Ooh, that music. Check it out. Okay, let's go ahead. We're, we'll dump that. We'll dump him. We're not going to use him. Let's put the balance blade on. You'll probably finish all of Wiz before I get to Avalon. Oh, I don't know. I mean... These these worlds continue to take longer and longer. Like Azteca, we took it took it really really took ten streams. I just played really long Saturday, and I probably would have gotten done a lot earlier had well, I you know probably should just should should have just went to a to a 
10th stream, but 10 streams total is how long it took me to get through Aztec, and that was pretty long. The worlds get easier and easier. Well, yeah, I hear they do, but I heard um, Imperia is still kind of challenging, though. I heard Imperia is still a pretty challenging world as well. So, you know, I guess we'll find out. I'm excited to go through them because, for me, this is all kind of new content um, from here on out because I've only gone a little bit of ways into... Um, into Chrysalis, so I haven't really gone very far into Chrysalis, and so it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, that's okay. I'm sure the event will come year rack. It'll come. Well, I'm probably not going to be full solo on these. I fully expect to um, get some help out here and there and on these levels because that's just just the way it is. It, it can be um, it can be a little too challenging. I don't want that. Okay. Let's see, if I get the right spells, I'll be able to strike them and finish them off here pretty quick. So let's go ahead and throw up Vengeance, and we're going we're gonna to show this guy the way it is. Yeah, well, we're not going to go full solo, Zanga. I mean, we're at the point where it's a lot easier if, if you have somebody with you. But I'd rather try to stick with people who are, I mean, other wizards that are about on level, on level with me. Because I think that makes it a lot more fun to play. Um, as opposed to carries coming in and taking me through. And you know, I mean, you know, I'll take a carry if that's what I, if that's the choice. But you know, I think, um, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather play with one level wizards whenever I can. You're a trio right now. Well, you know, that's going to make the game a lot easier with fire and storm, fire, storm, and death. So that's not a bad trio to go with, not at all, not at all. Okay, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's get rid of that. No, we'll put that on that. No, let's just cast that and keep it going. So it's going to be easy to beat those bosses. Yeah, that's a pretty good group there. Yeah, even just being two is fast. You're right, Yurak. You are absolutely right. Like my other wizard, my bounce, my um, my my myth wizard that I like to play with my daughter. She has a storm wizard. We fly through things pretty well. I just can never get her to play. You know, Yosa probably laughing about that. You know, Mika. You know, Kimberly. For some reason, once she loses interest, it's hard to get her to hang out and play sometimes. So that's always been a challenge. That's always been a challenge with it. So. Hopefully I can get her to start playing. It just depends on how busy she is with school. You love the defeat three while solo and fight only brings two enemies? <laughs> yeah. Yep, I... Uh, yeah, exactly. The defeat three? Yeah. It wears you out. Well, then it, then it starts going to the de defeat four in the later... In some of the later worlds, it's like, oh my goodness, can you just finish it? <laughs> yeah, I kind of drug that out a little bit. Okay. Annoying, really Banana annoying. Yeah, it is. It's attached. super annoying. Recover a golden relic carved with death school symbols. Definitely adds to how much time you are playing for sure. Okay, it looks like we got the relic. Let's bring it up to Zen Zen. Okay, I think Mirage and up you get to fight three enemies per fight. Oh yeah, in Mirage? Mirage and up, boy, that's 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 interesting. But see, you know, by then you, you've had a chance to really Wizard, learn how to use your shadow purpose, pip spells, you know, you got, and you got some really nice gear by that it point. Also keens for the brave so that makes sense. Chrysalis, who have fallen under Morgant's reign. Okay. It show it to the Lady of the Lake. Then we shall. Here you go, Lady of the Lake. Wizard, we now possess two points yes, of the triad. Yes, two points of the triad is now possessed, okay? A combination of three schools of magic is okay, unbeatable. unbeatable. We have life and Oh, death. you're using them the to kill. Yeah, okay. Myth. Inyanga White Stripes will show you how to bring them all together. Inyanga. Let's talk, buddy. The triad of life, death, death and, and myth, myth is the foundation of our greatest, greatest stories. stories. Yes. The professors from Wizard City have brought a powerful relic with them. The Diamond Myth Forge. Hmm, interesting. Cyrus was not through to lug it out of the basement of the myth school, but he would not refuse me. Bring the Thunder <laughs> Seed and the Underworld Compass to the Diamond Myth Forge. We will channel our power to you. You must perform the ritual of forging and hammer the elements into a spiral key. Well, let's go do that. There's the Myth Forge. Excellent work, young wizard. I can feel you channeling our Ooh, power. We're channeling the power, guys. Remember to temper life with death. Death, death with, with myth. myth. Myth, myth with, with life. life. Do not lose control of the triad of magic. Picture chrysalis in your mind's eye. Feel its I don't know what it looks like, but let's picture it. Feet. 
and in the heart, heart of the Condeseed. Listen for the echo of Ooh. all those hearts that Morganth, Morganth has stilled. The underworld compass, compass points, points you mm. to her black place of power. Yes, it does. Oh my! Hmm. Let's see what you have. Okay. Alrighty, so let's do that. Okay, Merle, here you go. My, my, my. A, new A new spiral, spiral key. key. Very good. And with this, know that we consider you an honorary member. Ooh, of the I'm council. part of the council now. Nice. Young wizard, Morganth's wards. Keep us. I think I do all the work though around here. <laughs> we will remain here as close as we can get. Use whatever trickery you must to find okay. and release the, the Lords, Lords of Night. From okay. Morganth's clutches. Morganth is okay, that's what we gotta do. We gotta release the Lords of Night. Spirits, the Lords of Night. To, to sing, sing the song, the song of, creation of creation anew. In her version of the great song, she's she the hero. Okay. Is the stalwart hero. Very nice. You think? Well, you know. Forces of injustice. That if she is able to complete her song of creation, the spiral will be forever broke. Go to Bartleby okay. and use the spiral key to travel to Chrysalis. Morgan's sentinels will think you are there. We may even be able to project ourselves into the world. In okay, there we go. Get some guidance. Give you what guidance we can. Okay, here we go, guys. We are finally on track to walk into Chrysalis. Okay. And we are still in the first hour. Sometimes, you know, these quests to get you to the quest take kind of kind of a while to get you there. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let's go to Bartleby, which is where we're at right now. And we are about to head into Chrysalis. Now, I know all the, all the monsters get some nice buffs here, so it's going to be a challenging world. And I don't think we get a new... Well, we got, we got the new Arthur spell, which is cool, but I don't think we get any other new spells here. Well, maybe for a little bit. There it is, Chrysalis. Let's head on in. What is your name and purpose? Headmaster Ambrose said to use trickery to let them... Okay, let's use trickery, okay. Maybe you can avoid a fight. 80 armor, 50 actually, 40 shadow pip chance, 60 pierce, and 100 critical. I don't know why he just doesn't fight for camp, yeah. Have you come to serve the Shadow Queen? Sure. I am Zoltana the Mirror, Mirror Mask. Mask. Yes. It is my duty to test those who wish to swear allegiance to Queen Morgan. No problem. Prove yourself, stranger. Go into the Weeping Tower and slaughter all you find within. Well, that sounds all fantastically happiness and joy. So let's go in there and let's go ahead and defeat a couple of, of spiders. Hmm. Hmm. About to level up. Yes, I am about to level up. That's pretty nice. Okay, let's go ahead and go this route. Here we go, Weeping Tower. That's what we're looking for. Uh, painted spiders. Well, let's do this thing. Use energy. Well, I only have like 27 energy, so it'll be okay. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and let's get some blades going first. And the action begins here in Chrysalis. We've got to convince them that we are we want to become part of Morgant's armies. Yes, that is what we're doing here. Good, good, good. You're 102, soon to be 103. <laughs> yeah, Zenga, Zenga's old heart, you know, old soul there. That's awesome, 102, 103. Well, you gotta start somewhere, don't you? Gotta start somewhere. Okay, let's see here. Those dad jokes. You're on your phone, so you have a delay. Well, Diamonds, I'm happy you're here. No problem. Very, very nice to see you in chat today. I'm excited. I'm in Chrysalis finally. We're about to put some hammer on Morganth and her and her minions. So it's it's all going to plan now. All going to plan. Got myself a new Quetzal pet that gives me a Double crit and double damage. Very happy about that. <laughs> Dad jokes. Okay, huh, here we go. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I could really use um, 
raw to show up and give me some stuff. Lovely, lovely it is. Okay, guys, so we're in first hour, and I did throw out the question earlier. Tell me about your favorite pet. So far, the Gulchers have been a very popular pet, as well as, um, hmm. Well, anyways, tell me about the pet you enjoy, that you, uh, your favorite pet with your current wizard. That's, that's, that's how we're going to run that. Where are all my... <laughs> okay, let's do that. So once my base day and wow, yeah, I got a lot of stuff done, Diamonds. It's really starting to look like a base now. Oh, you like the coos for life. Very nice, Yurak. Uh, yeah, those are, those, are, those are interesting little birds. Those are pretty nice. Yeah, so you saw my base diamonds. Yeah, I, did, I got my... It's starting to look like, you know, my story is starting to come together. I just got, I got a lot more work to do. Plus, I need to build a good experience for him. I think that's kind of where I'm at as well. So uh, the next, uh, the rest of the week, I might be working on a heavy-duty experience farm. After we, we're going to update the server today to full 1.16 when I get a chance later tonight. Okay. And of course, you know, I get hit with this guy. That's fantastic. How many of my blades am I going to lose? Grrr. That's pretty cool. Yeah, my yeah, it's turning out pretty nice. Did you like my crane diamonds? Crane was pretty cool. Okay, Zanga, we'll see you for a little bit. Hope can't wait to see you get back and chat. Yeah, I had a lot of fun building the crane. I thought the crane turned out really nice, really neat. My docks, I was pretty happy with. Um, my first my first trade ship that I built. Talking a little bit of Minecraft here, turned out really nice. If you want to see some of those things I built, I did put a new Let's Play out this morning um, on my YouTube channel. And um, I think everything turned out pretty cool. I think everything turned out pretty cool. I still have a lot of work to do, though. Well, you know. Maybe you'll critical next time, Raw. Hmm. Probably should have just hit him with the, um... With the old... With the old, um... Sandstorm. So, oh no, I'm not that good at building. It just I've just practiced a lot. Um, if you go look like at some of my old, some of my earlier let's plays from like my season one and stuff, you'll see that I got better, you know, because I just keep practicing at it. It's, it yeah, it take, you know, it's one of those things where the the more you do it, you suddenly realize, okay, what if I tried something different? And the more you watch other people build, then you can come up with some different ideas. Because that's, I think that's the whole trick with making Minecraft um, unique is is um, learning how to use blocks and ways and imagine them looking like other things. Ooh, I got a to beat Calaclack. Okay, so. I see you got by the painted spiders. I drew the short lot, and now I guess it is my job to face you. You've traveled a long way just to die, stranger. Let's throw some shields up in our deck. Whoops. Okay, that looks good. And um, let's do this. Okay, there we go. Can you send me up another portal to lower another? Oh yeah, that's easy to do, diamonds. Yeah, if I get a chance to do it tonight, I can help you. I can help you get that set up. That, that's not a problem. Okay. What we want to do is we need to go ahead and get this going here pretty quick. Okay, so let's put up a shield because those guys are going to start hammering me pretty hard here in just a moment. Awesome. I really like the lore behind Chrysalis. Like, you see all the little mice statues, how this used to be a big mouse kingdom, you know, and now it's taken over by all these bugs and everything. I, I love looking at the decorations, the way they did everything in these towers and stuff. It's all super, super cool and a very, very neat, um, neat type of lore, like, like concept. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Hmm. 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 Well, nothing ready to do yet. So let's go ahead and toss this one. Let's put up some more shields. And then we got to get Raw to the point where hopefully he can do a pretty good hit on them. Awesome. Yeah, so cool, cool.
Yeah, I think I probably need to go ahead and try breeding another pet for, um, for, for better stats again. I think that's what I need to do. Is I need to take one of the pets I really, really like, breed it with something that has some more stats I like, and try to get that those levels up because you know I've I've got two pets I that I'm happy with right now. But if I can like improve my pets, that would be absolutely fantastic. Okay. Oh man, just not getting any blades or anything to put up. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and put a faint on the spider. And that way, when we do raw, we can go ahead and maybe get rid of one of them. Yeah, I'm pretty happy I put all those shields up. Nice. Starting to work out for me there. Hmm, awesome, awesome. Okay, guys, so if you are just joining and you're not sure about about the concept, I do have a concept for my stream. What we've been doing since March is we've been streaming approximately six hours a week, two streams a week with my with my wizard right here. And the idea is to take him from zero all the way up to max level with this bounce. I've never played bounce before I started playing this bounce, guys. This is the first bounce wizard I've ever had, even though I've been playing the game since about 2008, 2009. So that's one of the things I've been focused on is I wanted to really play balance and take a wizard I haven't played with and go from the beginning all the way to the end of the game. And I'm and if you haven't heard, I'm super excited this week because I'm actually, you know, getting into Chrysalis, which has been content that's always um, well, this is where the content is new for me pretty much from here on out. So a lot of this is going to be a ton of fun because I'm going to be seeing it and experiencing it for the first time. And that's 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 kind of what I've been fo been focusing on with this particular stream now for the last few months. So it's taken us a while to get here, but that's okay. It's all been good and productive. There we go. Raw. Too bad you couldn't give me a critical there. Kind of would have been nice. Would have been nice. Oh yeah. Okay, well, there we go. Now, we've been talking pets here on the stream. We were talking a little bit about some pet terminology earlier. Um, I was showing off my new double crit, double double damage pet, which I'm pretty happy, I'm pretty proud of. You know, pretty excited for him. You know what, let's do this. Yeah, that'll be a quick way to get some health back. Okay, let's go ahead and throw some more shields up because they're gonna start hitting me again pretty hard if I'm not careful. Awesome, awesome. Chat is wide open, guys, for anything you want to talk about. We don't have to talk about pets or Minecraft for that. For that, It is always wide open. Um, anybody can bring up anything. I'll try to respond to you guys as quickly as I can as we're playing the game. You know, one of the things I'm doing right now is I'm really enjoying the experience of being able to play, um, play the new world. It's, it's fun stuff. Okay, should we go ahead and do another... Hmm, hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and put another shield up because they're going to start hitting me again. The pips are growing. Yep, very nice. Okay, we'll be able to take that guy out here with the with the death and get a little bit of health back too. Let's go do that. Hmm. <laughs> That's why I put the shields up. Shields are one of my main strategies for surviving some of these boss fights. That's why I usually have quite a few shields sitting in my... Jeez. I usually have quite a few shields sitting in my side deck. That's usually what I like to use them for. Because you can usually load up what types of shields, because you usually get a look at the bosses you're fighting before you get into the fight. So if you stop and take a moment, you can usually help protect yourself quite a bit. Are you kidding me? Oh, I hate it when I fizzle. Okay. Um, well, let's go ahead and we can take him out with judgment real quick. Hmm, you do have a good resist so you don't waste turn shielding. Well, you know, it's not so much that I worry. I mean, I could build up my resist some more, but the shields tend to do a really, really good job of blocking stuff down. Um, and especially as you get into the later worlds, a lot of times the a lot of times they can uh, the with the spells that they can hit you with, without shields, they're going to knock your health down so quickly. Um, it's kind of tough to rebound um, fast at all, and so uh, that's that's why I tend to be a big shield user, a big proponent of shields. 
Um, it's one of the it's one of the ways that's really helped me survive certain things, whether I have good resistance or or you know not so good resistance. Yeah, it is like a permanent shield for sure. You have like 50% resist on ice and storm. No, that's not bad. That's pretty good, you know. Thank you, Diamonds, for throwing up the YouTube link. Guys, if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, go ahead and check it out. It has all this content. It's another way, a great way to watch some stuff if you enjoy what you're what you're looking at and you don't want to miss or, you, or you're kind of bored and I'm not streaming. Check it out. Plus, you can see what my builds are doing there on YouTube on, our, on my newest Let's Play there in Minecraft if you're interested in Minecraft stuff. And um, kind of see what Diamonds was talking about, but yeah, he's um he's on the server, and you should see his house. I think two episodes on my Let's Play, I actually did a little tour, and we flew through Diamonds' house, showed it off a little bit, you know, and did um did some fun stuff with that. So let's see here. Let's get another shield up. Once we get rid of this guy, it'll be it'll be a lot easier. Hmm. Using using the spirit of winter, or spirit of ice, whatever. I updated the store. Nope, I, I gotta I gotta go out and um, I got another store to build. I've got to do another end run, so I'll probably do that this week because I gotta get some more elytra for the store. So I've got I've got quite a few things to do, but I did work a lot on my base in the last two episodes, which is kind of nice. Okay, so let's see here. Yep, so yeah, the Elytra store got sold out. I keep selling Shulker, so I'm pretty good, but I got plenty of back stock on Shulker, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, he stunned me. Oh, that loser. He stunned me. Okay, not a problem, but I can get rid of... Can I get rid of him? Do I have enough health left? Let's go for it. Sabretooth, do your job. Apic Kid, you need to build a mob and kelp farm, but you're remodeling. <laughs> yeah, Apic Kid's on the server too, so you gotta build a mob and kelp farm. Well, that, that, that'd that be good, you know, for sure. I was thinking about doing a kelp farm. I just haven't decided whether I want to do it. Yeah, yeah, there's plenty of shulkers in in the um, in the store, and that and that's going good. I just need to go back out, get some more elytra, because it seems like I've got quite a few, credit, quite a, quite a few, um, shoppers who want elytra so that's something that's selling really well at the store you know i sold out of all those elytra i bought so i, I found so i have to go out there do some more finding plus i need to build my ink store because i know i know my ink store is going to be a going to be a good is going to be good it's good selling place for sure okay let's go ahead and put that up i might have to do a reshuffle because i think a lot of my good hit spells i'm all out of Alrighty, nice Ooh, also, I think King Artorias is in here somewhere, too. Still no trap. Okay, let's go ahead and draw. Then we're going to start putting up some more. We'll start putting up some more blades and some more traps so we can go ahead and get this guy taken care of. Now, so far, the boss fight hasn't been terribly hard. Ooh, yeah, let's put that on Chimera. We'll use Chimera here. That sounds like a good plan for sure. Yeah, so yeah, still still full of shulks and has, still have plenty there, but I need to go ahead and get those other things, you know. And then I got to decide what my next major build is. I got a few ideas as far as one. I'm trying to think on whether I'm going to start building my big trading hall or not. Um, now that I've got the docks there and everything, it kind of makes sense to go ahead and get the trading hall up and going. There we go. Let's see here. Um, hmm. Do I need this at the moment? I don't know if I have any more spells. Oh, yeah, Artorias. I do want to use the new um, Sword of the King. That'd be a fun spell to try out since we haven't tried that out yet. So let's go ahead and get a few more blades up, and then we'll bring that up as well. You love building buildings on Minecraft long ago. Oh, yeah, building buildings is fun. Hmm. There we go. We got a nice death back. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. Let's go ahead and just do some healing while we're waiting for some more spells to pop up. He was. He, he tried to see. Tr he tried to stun me again. Why that guy? Okay, we're, that's okay. We're gonna take him down. We're gonna take him down. Hmm. 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 Okay. Let's not do that, and let's go ahead and 
throw another shield up while we're at it. Trying to get them real size. Oh, with elevators and everything. That's 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 pretty clear to your act. You know, if you use the, you know, I mean, oh, with stuff inside. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. That's not a bad way to do it. Okay, let's go ahead and keep keep the blades popping up. Let's keep putting blades up. Okay, hey, yeah. I knew he'd start hitting me again here pretty quick. Hmm. It's easier right now, but 10 years ago is hard. Yeah, well, the game's changed a lot in 10 years, Yurak, you know. The, the latest update's really, really awesome. The new Nether update's very, very cool with lots of different things you can do um, in the game now. Lots of different materials, like, you know, there's new, there's this new basalt texture that actually looks, you can actually, it actually has this look like iron pipes now, so it's kind of neat for that. Plus, you can add chains, too. So, I mean, the building materials keep getting better and better each year because they keep on adding more of them. That's, that's, a lot, that's what's a lot, of, a lot of the fun about it, too, you know. And so each year your builds can look a little bit different because you've got new building materials to use. Okay, well, what are we going to do? Should we keep waiting to try to get one of those? Hmm. Let's throw Vengeance up and let's do a Chimera. Let's see how much damage we can get Chimera to do on this guy. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> now, if I can critical Chimera, that could... Turn out pretty could turn out pretty good. So let's see. Nice. Okay, and I guess we got what two blades? Yeah, three blades off of that. Ooh, that's going to be a good hit there. Very nice. Thirty-eight hundred. Twenty-eight hundred. Uh, Twenty-eight. Ah, uh, well, you know. But we definitely knocked him down more than more than a third, more than a half. Yeah, about half. Okay. Huh. Okay. Let's go ahead and start setting him up for a few more hits. Yeah, the game the game has changed a lot. Heck, the game you know just um, Wizard 101's changed a ton since since I started playing the game. I can remember all sorts of different things about old Wizard 101. And how much it, how much it has adjusted itself over the time. It's it's pretty fantastic, you know. I get, I think that's what makes the games continue to be re, continue to play them is they continue to add content and update it. Like Minecraft, if it was Minecraft from like even 1.5 or 1.7, it would not be nearly as fun because of all the updates they've added to it. Every time you come back, yeah. Every time I come back to Wizards, there's always a ton of changes. And I still haven't even experienced most of those changes, like because most of the changes I haven't experienced are pretty much these higher levels now that we haven't haven't quite gone to. There we go. A faint. Let's throw a faint on him, and I think we'll probably be able to take him down with this next hit. Ooh, and I still have vengeance going. Nice. Yeah, it's so. Uh, I mean, I think that's the that's the fun part about it. I mean, you know, I just want to get in there and, and, and experience. Ooh, there's there. See now, there is King Artorius. Well, I haven't used King Artorius yet, so should we go ahead and use King Artorius? Yes, I say yes. Let's use King Artorius right now. Yeah, the jewels thing. I'm just starting to get a handle on jewels and how to get the types of jewels you want, you know? So, the, you know, like I crafted some jewels the other day, and it was kind of like, oh, nice, I got some jewels that I actually want to use on some of my things now, as opposed to just randomly getting jewels. So the trick is learning how, is learning how to craft them so you can craft the jewels that you want to get, and that's that's kind of nice. Yeah, boss is cheating. That's been something ever since they introduced um You are sparing my life. I will never forget this. Ah oh, yes. Well, that's okay. Very, very good. I think like I'm the only one that spares lives throughout this whole world. You know, I, I you get to hear that a lot. Oh, you're not killing me? Okay. Thank you very much. Very good. Okay, let's go talk to Zoltana of the Mirror Mask. You know, and let her know that we took on her challenge and we wiped him out. Very, very good. Yeah, boss is cheating. Though. That's always something that's that's challenging. Those that that makes the game game a little challenge. Okay, so this is where the door should be. I forgot. I like looking at these areas and trying to spot all the different things. Like they, I guess they had a pedestal back here at one point. Very, very neat. 
You started playing Riz around 10 years ago? Yeah, I started playing Wiz back in 2008 or 2009, right around there. I think my membership says 2009, but it's, it's you know, real early. A spellbinder, one who knows mercy. How peculiar. Well, yeah, I know mercy. Spellbinder, you are not supposed to show okay, them Okay, okay. The warlords who came before did not hesitate. They were unlike you. I'm better than they are. I have never met a spellbinder <laughs> before. Further, Further testing, testing. okay. For me to judge you well, let's get this over with. Show me your skills in the Tower of Silence. Of course, okay. So now let's go. Oh, I leveled up. Yay, I'm at level 95. Five levels until... Five levels until level 100. Ooh, we are getting closer there, guys. We are getting much closer. Okay, so right in here. Let's go in there. Yeah, you were top level back down the... Yeah, back then I was top level. In fact, I've maxed my wizard out several times over the years. Most peculiar spellbinder. Do not hold back. Okay, well, let me, um, hmm. Let's see here. Okay, I think we might need to go ahead and adjust, um, adjust the type of spell that we want to use on her. So let's see here. Um, we're going to need, let's go with, let's go with Chimera. Let's add a couple of Chimeras in. Ready? And um, what we'll do is we'll try to raw to get rid of the two spiders. That's what's going to make this challenging, is we got those other two there. We've got that going on in there as well. Ooh, faints. We want to have some faints. Okay, and that means we should also go ahead and have a couple of potents. That way we can get the most out of those. Hmm. 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 Got one heal. Let's go ahead and add one more heal back in. And I guess we'll just see. have to see how it goes. Very good. Yeah, someday you'll level up your balance. You're focusing on the other schools. Yeah, well, you've got a lot to work. You've got a lot of, a lot of choices there. So I, I understand that. Um, let's see here. Let's just... Let's go ahead and throw up some storm shields, right? Just in case. Okay. So, hmm. Is that going to work for me? It might. It might. Okay. We'll leave that there like that. And like that. And like that. Okay. Well, oh, you know what I need to have in here? We need to go ahead and have... A couple of these. And let's just make sure we have at least one more of those. Okay. Well, let's see how it goes. I hate fighting balance bosses. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and letting one low for Winterbane Gauntlet. That's nice. That's not a bad way to go. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and start setting up some blades. But let's throw a shield on for that spider. Yeah, there we go. Wow, we are already in hour number two. Tell you what, it's exciting starting a new world. Or at least for me it is. Always something new. Hmm. Yep. So I'm trying to think. How long is it going to take me to get through Chrysalis? How many streams? I think this might be like a 15 stream series in the end when it's all finally said and done. I think it's going to take, take us a little bit to get through it. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and set some of these traps up really quick. Because we do need to get rid of those spiders fairly quickly. Mmm, supernova in me first. That's nice. There you go. Yeah, and, well, I'll do the side quests offline. That's usually how I run it. So when I'm playing online, I'm only doing the main quest, although today I did start off with a side quest because I just didn't get it done before I started stream. But, um, yeah, usually I focus, I pretty much stick to the main quest only during stream. And if there's like 277 main quests, that means it could take quite a while to get through the whole thing. So that's that's something something that I need to be aware of because that could like you know really extend how long I'm actually in this world. So I um, mean it's going to take quite a few streams. I'm going to try not to count them all, but it's going to take quite a few because Chrysalis is long, 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 long. But I but it's pretty exciting too. I like all the different layers of it. Um, 
the different parts of the world. You know, it's nice that it's not all gloomy like this particular city happens to be, that there's a lot of depth to the world that you, got, that you can see as you're going through it. There we go, let's throw this balance blade up. It'd be great to get a, um, to get a Colossal in here right now. Ooh, well, there we go. Wow, she stabbed me with that pig sticker a couple times, didn't she? Yeah, the side quests, though, are all going to be off to the side. So I guess I, I guess that 277 are main quests. You know, I never really looked up. I'm not sure what the side quest edition is or not. Okay, yeah, well, now I get you, these guys. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, um, well, let's put this up really quick. You remember the first time you played Wiz? It was taking each and every side quest there was. And it took, well... Yeah, I understand. I mean, I, I, pl I play every, each and every side quest for all my wizards. I do each and every side quest. That's just me. And it does take time. But, you know, I mean, it just kind of kind of determines on how you balance. Like, you know, I think one of the reasons why I'm still having so much fun playing, besides getting to talk to you guys while I'm playing, is that I'm not, I'm not trying to grind through a world as fast as I can. I just kind of take it, you know, as I can do it, you know, and, and I'm able to space it out with playing Minecraft on different days you know so it's just trying to balance out where where i'm grinding at you know but um yeah that's i think it's been pretty good for that in, in all respects okay well you know let's go for it if we can get a critical on raw then we can get rid of the two spiders and then this fight becomes immensely easier oh. okay yeah i'm already gonna have to start getting on the heels here pretty quick oh that's grand i should have started putting shields up again Mm -hmm. Okay, here's crossing our fingers. We really need, really need the great raw to come through for us here. If you get a critical, I think we got a chance of a chance at this. Nice. Okay. And since I put two feints on those guys, that should help out quite a bit. I mean, he's not going to do hardly any damage to her, even with a critical. Yeah, 732. Ooh, not so good. But I bet you, I bet you we can crush the two spiders. Very good. That's what I want to do. I want to get rid of those guys so I wasn't dealing with um, storm spells every single time around. Okay. Very, very good. Now, here's the other thing. Let's go ahead and put that on that really quick. Let's slide that on that one. Um, I don't, uh, yeah, we're going to have to start focusing on some heals now because we need to get the heals up so that we can go ahead and do some major damage to her, but if she's going to keep hitting me. It's going to be kind of tough. Good thing she doesn't have a whole lot of pips, so I got a little bit of time, a little bit of time to draw this out. Glad I put a second helping hands in there. Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and throw some availing hands up. Let's get that going. Very, very good. Okay, guys. So first hour we were talking about pets. Like, what is your favorite pet for your for your current school that you're working on right now? We've gotten a lot of good. We've gotten a lot of good things out of that. There we go. Now I got a Colossus in there. Fantastic. Um, other things we could talk about. Um, now that we're in Chrysalis, okay? Well, actually, no. I don't want any spoilers for Chrysalis. I'm having fun with this. Um, Let's see here. What are some other things? Here's a question for hour number two. Okay. Let's see here. Here's a fun one. Okay. We used, to, we used to have fun with this back in my school. What is the funniest pickup line you've ever heard? You know? What is the funniest pickup line you have ever heard? Give us, give us an example of the funniest pickup line you've ever heard. Yes, and I am talking pickup lines. Okay. Let's throw... With that up right there. So for a question for hour number two, I think this I think we can have a lot of fun in the chat with this. What is some of the funniest pickup lines you have ever heard? What is the funniest pickup line you have ever heard? And if you know what a pickup line is, a pickup line is something that, you know, if you see somebody of the opposite sex, or I guess nowadays the same sex, I mean kinda of depends on who you are, I guess, you know. Um, what's something that you would say to get to get them to talk to you? Something interesting that shows you you're interested in being friendly. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. What is the funniest pickup lines you have ever come across? You know, back, um, see, one of the things I do at my school, see, I, I teach science, okay? 
Oh wow, the viewers just dropped. That's okay. Here, you guys, will, you guys will think this is funny. Okay, so um, I teach I teach science, but I also do a lot of things at my school besides just science. Like for instance, one of the things I do at my school is I run. Um, did they? Did she just really put up the th those three shields? Are you kidding me? I hate these bosses sometimes. Okay. Well, anyways, <laughs> you know, um, one of the things I do is I do the daily announcements, and we do all video announcements. Oh, he'll translate to English, so sorry if not the same as the English person. That's okay. Okay, that's not a problem, Iraq. Um, one of the things I do is I um, is we do video announcements. So what we do is we take the kids doing video announcements, and we put out a new video announcement every um, every day, daily, and so. What we had one year, we had this one guy, and what he did is he was just coming up with pickup lines all the time. The guy is hilarious. I'm not going to share his name, but that, that's what he does. He just did these deadpan pickup lines, and they were just, they were just so funny. He was, he was an eighth grade student. And so basically, it was just too, too funny. We, had, we basically used them almost every, um, every Friday when we did jokes. It was pickup line Friday, and so he would use a new pickup line um, for, for the videos, and it was just hilarious, you know. Did it hurt? And she asked, what? When you say you fell from the sky. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good one, Yurak. I've heard, I've, I, I know, I, I, I'm trying to remember exactly how it, how it goes. But, um, did it hurt when you fell from the sky? Because you're an angel. Yeah, something like that. Yep. I've heard that one, Yurak. That's a good one. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to throw up a little bit of shield. I don't know if it's going to help me at all that much. Okay, we need to get a critical out of this hit is what we're going to need because she threw up those shields which is going to slow me down some but that's okay we can still finish it off still finish it off okay awesome there we go nice nice hopefully everybody is still doing well out there also if you guys want to talk pets or some other games like minecraft or whatever or such um the chat is wide open for everyone out there hopefully you guys are doing well i'm doing exceptionally well thank you for asking very much you know, when you hear it, you just think, why is the guy telling her she's the devil? <laughs> That's funny, Yurak. Gosh. Okay, well, we got the critical, so let's see how much damage Mr. Chimera will do to this guy. I mean, it could be great, but we do got that negative 50%. So what are we going to have? What are we going to get? What are, ooh, nice. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be unhappy anymore because I think we might be able to wipe this guy out. Yeah, okay, very, very good. Very good. Forgot I had the 10% pierce now. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of a new um, thing for me to have that 10% pierce. Rejoin me outside. Yes, that was nice. That was good. I was expecting to fight that one for just a little bit longer. I like it how I get decks that aren't even my um, school, you know? I, I love getting decks that aren't my school. I gotta go. Actually, I've, my inventory is full. I gotta start. I gotta go and get rid of it. I have to go sell or do something. I was getting. I was getting those. I was getting those warnings from um, Zeke just before we got online there. Okay, here she is. You fight well, despite your predisposition towards kindness. I can be kind. Maybe I can be kind. There's nothing wrong with kindness. Your fighting style is unique. But not, not without, without merit. merit. Okay. Hmm, how best to place you in the Umbra Legion? Well, tell me. The ancient arcane colossus in Bastion may give me a clue. I give you permission to pass through the Penumbra barrier. Okay. Seek out the arcane colossus. Arcane colossus. Planet, then return to me. Okay. Sounds good. I can go through now. Yay. Okay. So is that the arcane colossus? Those are cool. The mice colossus statues. You meditate on the arcane colossus. Very nice. At first, nothing happens. But all of a sudden, the arcane colossus appears to be fully charged and now radiates great currents of magic. Ooh, okay. Wizard, you unlocked some of the magic that was trapped deep within this fortress. It has weakened Morgan's penumbra barrier. Oh, that's good. We're the weakening the barrier. Of Fantastic. We'll be able to help you at times. For now, continue with your exploration of Chrysalis. Okay, so we're going to continue to explore. So let's go back and talk to Zoltana the Mirror Mask. Here we go. The Arcane Colossus responded. Oh, yeah. So, what do we got to do? Most the Collector. Very nice to see you in chat, the Collector. Are you having a good day? Because my day's been excellent. 
Very nice. Meditate in front of the Rubicon Colossus and note any occurrence. Okay, let's go check the Rubicon Colossus and note anything else. Let's see if that you does some stuff. Giant statue, as you did the Arcane Colossus, but nothing happens. Ah, okay. You try to clear your mind again. Well, let's do case. it. Hmm. The Rubicon Colossus remains inert. Oops, nothing out of that one. Okay, let's go back and tell Zantana. Very good, Collector. Are you a whiz player? If you are, tell us about your favorite school and your favorite pet for that school. We'd love to hear about it. That's kind of been the topic of the chat is, you know, your favorite pet with your favorite school. Very well, Spellbinder. I have another task that may better Okay, tell us. Talents. My warrior sister, Rose, Rose the Mouse Hunter. Hunter. Hmm. Captured a spy. The mouse this is an angel of the burrowers. Okay. Burrow. The burrowers are a weak and Scattered force. They have enough they weapons have enough and warriors, weapons okay. This spy holds critical information. Okay, so now we're going to get into the spy network and start to make some start start to make some um, some some comrades. Go to Rose the Mouse Hunter and determine what she has gleaned from questioning the spy. Okay. Use your talents to resolve the situation to my satisfaction. Sure, whatever you say, boss. Okay, let's go talk to Rose the Mouse Hunter. Fantastic. Okay, there's Arena Stone Stepper. I'm sure we'll have to talk to her at some point. Here we go. Looks like Rose is over here. Let's hop in here and let's see how that's going to go. Well, it's been a fantastic Tuesday afternoon so far. Thank you, everybody. If you're just joining the stream and you're not familiar with uh, my stream, I usually stream four times a week. Two times I stream Wiz, like today, and two times I stream some... Wizard, uh, some, oh, some Minecraft, because I do have a Let's Play that I've been <laughs> playing for quite a long time now. Why can you not see with your also, I have a YouTube channel, which has all of my current um, Let's Plays, as well as replays of most of my streams on there, too. So that way, if you kind of like the streams, but yeah, but I'm not streaming, you can always check those out and chill and relax. Okay, Devin. That is all I have learned so far. Hmm. What is your expertise? A well, spellbinder. what are my spells? Yes. <laughs> what use are your spells? You use them to attack me? Ah, uh, yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and get our deck. Let's pick up the right deck. Good. And let's go ahead and put in the right spells. We need those. We need these right here. Wow, I got a lot of these in here. How do I get so many of these dream shields? Okay, let's take down Rose the Mouse Hunter and the Leaf Shield. Okay, very, very good. Now, if you guys are just wondering what type of stream this is, basically, um, since March, I've been taking this Balance Wizard. I've never played Balance before, and we've been taking him from level zero, and we're going to max him out, and we're going to go ahead and um, finish out Wizard 101. I've never been past level 100, so I'm super excited about this. Even though I've been playing for a long time, I've maxed out Wizards before. I haven't maxed out a Wizards with the current, um, with the current worlds that they have up now, so I'm super excited. Like, for instance, it's taken us since March to get to Chrysalis, but Chrysalis from here on out is all new content for me, especially with this wizard. So I'm super stoked about it, and I cannot wait to see all the rest of the storyline and the storylines after this world, because as like I said, this is new content for me, so I get to experience with you guys in stream live. And I've been thoroughly enjoying the journey so far with everybody. Hmm, okay, so you're going to go ahead and do some... Um, yeah. Well, you know what? That's what Orthros was there for, is to knock out one of your shields. You know, that's just the way it works. I wonder why I got zero off of that. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, let's go ahead and get this going. We want to get rid of that leaf shield guy. Let's go ahead and keep some shields going because I don't want to get my health too low before we can knock them off out, all out. Hmm, very, very good. I really like the, the bug designs that they added because, you know, you've been going through the worlds for the last few worlds having to deal with more Gantz, um, with more Gantz creatures, and you know that they're bug styles, and you kind of expect, okay, I guess we'll see a lot more of those when we get here, and we kind of do, but then we get to see a whole bunch of new bug designs, which I think is really, really exciting. I love it when they add new designs to the world with different things to it. Oh, there's Ra showing his face. Nice. 
Well, let's see here. Let's go ahead and put a feint on the leaf shield. And I think we're going to use her to help heal us. I like I like their spell casting animations. Pretty cool. The way they get on their knees like that. The praying mantis style, I guess. That's kind of what they are. Hmm. Pretty interesting. You need to get your crit up for Chris. Yeah. You know, I thought my crit was pretty good, but still, yeah. I'm still doing the crit um, strategy. And I've got my crit up to 51%. I'm pretty happy with it. And then with the... Um, with the vengeance, it's it's pretty good, you know. But um, there's still some opportunity for improvement. Let's go and throw the balance blade up. Yeah, we got to go ahead and hit hit them before they hit me. Okay, so should I go ahead and do I need raw? Oh, why did I do that? Uh, I'm kicking raw to the curb. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and Wraith. Maybe, maybe if we can get a nice big hit on him. Yeah, it's a life guy, so, you know, we'll get a boost for the life spell, too. Oops, no crit. Well, that would have been nice if we got a crit. Ah, not enough. But at least we'll get a good heal out of it. Very, very good. I am rocking the exalted death amulet with my character, which has been kind of, which has been pretty nice, for sure. This has definitely been beneficial, especially with certain types of um, certain types of bosses. Boy, she's using those um, myth those those myth attacks quite well, isn't she? Okay. You can get some jewels with death spells? Yes, I can. Yeah, you're right. I can absolutely do that. That is not a bad way to go either. Okay. So let's throw the balance blade up. Yeah, that's that's true, Yurak. I can go ahead and get some jewels with the death spells too. I guess it just depends on, you know, on how I want to do. The nice thing about the balance blades is they all work with the death. With the death spells pretty good. So it's not like I'm losing out on blades or anything. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, should I just go ahead and go for it? Mm, yeah, Chimera. No, we're going to ditch Chimera. Okay, we are so close. I wish we had a boost. Let's put another blade up, and then we'll finish off the life guy. Then we'll start hammering on our myth opponent. Hmm, maybe I should put a shield up. Eh. You know, one of the things I really like about the balance is how much health I have up, the, up at this level. Like... Right now, when I, I remember when I entered this place with Storm, I think my health was like 3,400 versus 5,000. And yeah, that's a big difference. I think that's the toughest part about Storm is having, having those low health because you got to get your hits out even quicker and you got to defend your health so that you have enough time to get those hits out, you know, um, because you don't have time for it. Versus, you know, if you have like 5,000 health like this guy, you know, there's, there's some more, you got a little bit more time to, to work out a strategy. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can't get a nice big hit. I don't have, hmm, I don't have a feint on it this time, so it won't be as good. Uh, maybe I should have kept draw around. Oh well, you know. <laughs> Those death spells are great. You hope you can get help for Chris because doing it alone seems a hassle. Well, you know, um, they're definitely a lot tougher fights for sure. I would, I would, I would definitely say, yeah. There's the the fights are a lot are a lot tougher to deal with, um, and some of the bosses I don't see how you can do it without some without some help. So you got, I mean, with some of the bosses you absolutely have to have help. So being able to have a friends list or finding somebody to fight with you, that I think that's a big key. Um, for, for that end of the game as well. Let's go ahead and throw the balance blade up. Very good. And Nara, she'll start hammering these guys too. And I'll get them out. So why are you using death spells if you're a balance? Well, I just happen to have like a couple of death spells in that deck. So they're the ones that popped up. So I went ahead and used them. Um, I like, you know, generally I, I usually only have the death spells in my deck um, for if I'm playing against a um, balance boss. But since I had... Um, but, but this deck, I forgot to take out the two death spells, so I used them, so I went ahead and just used them. You know, 
Plus, they had the benefit of healing me up a little bit too, so I can't really gripe about that. You know, I do. I do like the. I do. I, I'm always envious of death spells. Like I'm playing when I'm playing with other characters, and I see a death spell used, it's all like, gosh, I wish I w I could use that to heal myself. And um, since I got the death amulet, you know, there we go. We got it going on. So no no worries there. Well, that's not working. My hand is just not working the way I want it to. Okay, so let's do this because. Neris is about to take out the life guy, and now we'll be able to take out the other guy pretty quick. Go, Neris. But good question, Virex. Thank you so much for hopping in on chat. Appreciate it. You know, um, but yeah, um, one of my strategies when I hit level 90 is I went ahead and worked up a death deck so that I could use it with. Um, yeah, the higher level balance spells are, are definitely really good, and but it, the death but the death spells were showing up on my deck, so I went ahead and knocked them out and used them, and they're 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 definitely they're definitely super useful, you know. And I think the fight before this was a balance boss, so I was also trying to decide, okay, what's the best way best way to do that? Okay, I'm not going to put that up yet. Let's go ahead and put a shield up, and that will help protect us. Yeah, the balance spells are super cool. Um, I'm super excited because I'm only, a f well, I'm at level 95 now, which is awesome. Just turned level 95, so we're five levels away from level 100 and getting um, getting a Dark Moor invite as well as um, Shadow Pip spell. So those are the things I'm super looking forward to right now because I have not had a wizard yet with Shadow Pip spells, so I'm pretty excited about that. What would be neat is if I could get, like, the Death Shadow Pip house Pip spells, but I don't think I can do that outside of like treasure cards and stuff. So, okay, so we've got a good. Why do I have so many heals in there? I don't remember having that many heals in there. That's okay. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and I'm not hurting. That's funny. Usually I'm having to heal myself left and right by now, but those death spells make life a lot easier when you have them in your deck. I'll tell you what. Okay. Well, she's going to keep annoying her for a while, and then I'm going to go ahead and charge up a, um, yeah, let's go ahead and charge up a Judgment. Well, we got King Arthur ready to go, too, so we'll work it both ways. That's a wicked looking, um, I guess, scythe? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a scythe. It's a pretty wicked looking scythe. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta give it some credit for that. Okay. Um, ooh, Arthur's ready. Let's go and use the feint and get that going. The Balance Shadow spell is very good for bosses. Sadly, the level 100 Balance spell doesn't hit all the enemies, just one. Yeah, that's, yeah. I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to those new spells. Pretty excited about it, you know. Yeah. Okay. Let's use King Artorius. Kind of like the, you know, I was I was looking at King Artorias for balance, and the amount of damage it does is much lower than the other King Artorias spells, but it does give you a plus 40 blade after it's cast, so I guess that makes up for it, you know. Ooh, that was pretty good. I'm sorry, not a plus 40 blade. You know, it gives me... Yeah, it gives me the plus 20. Oh, yeah, and plus, yeah, for breakage. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get Sabretooth ready. Okay, let's throw a shield up while we're waiting. I like the negative 40 it puts on her, though. That's kind of nice, the big negative 40 weakness. Wow, Neris, you're not getting hit hardly at all. Okay, very, very good. Awesome, awesome. Very good. So, hey, I just want to do a shout out to everybody who's out there. I'm not sure who's all out there, but I do know some of my subscribers have been out there today. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. It really makes a big deal. And all my, and all, everybody who's been following, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for following and supporting the stream because... Well, I mean, that's what keeps me coming back and having a lot of fun with you guys every week is the followers and the subscribers. So thank you very much. And if you're not following me, um, if you would consider hitting that follow button while you're watching the stream, that'd be awesome. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic day either way. And you lurkers out there, thank you for coming in and lurking on the on the stream. I appreciate it. Really makes 
really helps the numbers out a lot. And I appreciate you guys hanging out and enjoying it. Okay, let's see here. Very, very nice. She only took 100 off that. Yeah, she does. Oh, thank you very much, Impatience Horse. Thank you so much. Yeah, G Sidex and the Lurk Gang. Awesome. Thank you very, very much for the follow. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and hit Saber. Let's Saber Tooth them real quick. And then I guess we'll shuffle. Yeah, we'll shuffle and get all my blades and stuff back. I love the Saber Tooth spell. That's one of my favorite spells right there. Pretty nice. Hmm, very cool. Okay, Neris, what are you going to do? Yep, there we go. Classic. Classic, classic three pip spell there. You know, I might not have to reshuffle. How much health does she have left? She has 1,600 health. Hmm. I guess I could wait for the pips to come in. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw a shield up and wait for the pips to come in. Balance. Level 110 spell hits all enemies, so that's good. Oh, that's like 15 levels away, Virix. That is good. In 15 levels, that'll be absolutely awesome. You, you get it until 110. Yeah, well, it'll be some time. It'll be some time. Here, let's throw up some more shields. There we go. Okay, very good. So we are down to the last 16 health points. Just waiting for some more pips to line up. And then we will take out the spider. Or the, I'm sorry, the praying mantis. The praying mantis. You get it until 110. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of new spells coming up that I'm not that familiar with it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to all the new spells. Oh, nice. Well, very good. Let's see how well um, she's going to do. So that's like four or 500. I think it was four or 500. It's going to be a pretty good hit. Good job, Neris. Oh, yeah. She's getting upset that she can't get past us. <laughs> I wonder why they get zero off of that. You know, I mean, it could be lower. The Matryoshka spell is cool. Oh, yeah. The, um, yeah, the nesting. The nesting spell, the nesting dolls, those are that's a pretty cool spell. I am looking forward to that. That's that's a pretty neat one. Oh, that sucks. Okay. I'd add the fizzles there. Yeah, that's a pretty cool spell. I'm looking I'm, I'm really I'm looking for every new spell that given because I haven't really researched them, so I don't know which spells come when. I've seen a couple of them, but there's still lots of them I haven't seen yet, so uh, it's, I'm pretty stoked about all the new content that's coming up. That's because the shields are added up to over 100%. Ah, yes. You are rescuing me? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's that's awesome. Once I tell Zartana what you have done, she'll bring the Umbra Legion down upon your head. Uh-oh, here we go. Spellbinder, free me and we can lock the Mantis up in my place. That sounds good. We're going to lock the Mantis up in your place. That way she can't talk to anybody. Oh. <laughs> Meet me at the base of the broken tower. Sounds good. Woohoo. So we are we are taking names. Oh yeah. Very good. So we just freed the mouse. Okay. Very nice. Let's talk to him. You have my eternal thanks, Spellbinder. Very good. If we can get out of this place. The White Hearts will always be your allies. Tell me now, what brought you to this lost world? You seek to bring down the Shadow Queen? Yeah, sure, I why not? I will do whatever I can to aid you. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, my okay. My weapons and armor were stripped from me upon my capture. I have no idea what that cruel Mantis Rose did with them. Of course not. But no, I know you don't. some of our treasures remain safeguarded in the mausoleum. Can you enter the tombs and find me a blade and armor? Ooh, I think I remember this with my... With my storm guy. I don't remember if these were that easy. If these spell... If these, um, quests were I wouldn't that easy. bother talking... Just picking up the side quests as I pass by. Okay, well, here's the mausoleum, as I recall. Nope, nope, I'm sorry, it's over this way. Okay. Here is the mausoleum, and now I have to, like, be able to grab some of his stuff. Greetings, stranger. Would you be... Uh oh, yeah, that's that's a side quest. Not right now. Okay. Calvert Hawk Lord. I am the spirit of Calvert Hawk Fantastic. Lord. Fantastic. 
You do not wear the colors of the accursed Umbra Legion. You are on a quest yes. for a white heart. Whiz rounds down, if not mistaken. They don't? Hmm. I remember them as good, honorable people. You'll find good arms deeper in the tomb. Yeah, I think they're talking about why they was getting zeros on that. However, you'll have to navigate monsters and accursed spirits to reach mm, Nothing you can do there. There's nothing I can do to help Oh, yay. So, the blades and shields multiply themselves. Yes, yeah, they do that. How does it work then? Does it take away 75% and 50% of that new number? Yeah, Virex, I believe that's the way it works is basically it just compounds on the number previous. That's why the your hits get so huge so quickly um, and all that. Okay, so let's go ahead and it looks like we just got some regular spiders. So let's just go ahead and grab... Where's my little deck? I guess that's my little deck. Let's get rid of this extra stuff in here. Okay, leave those. Leave, we're going to take those out. And take those out. There we go. And that'll allow me to get in there and raw, raw them pretty quick. Very good. Okay, let's take out the crypt spiders. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they don't add the percentages together. What they do is the percentages multiplies off the last percentage. Oh, I don't need that one. Okay, let's throw that one up there. Yeah, that's the way it does because it compounds the percentage over and over. So like the new percentage then compounds that percentage and compounds that percentage. And that's how you get the huge attacks or the huge defenses pretty quickly because that's that's the way the numbers work. For sure, yeah. It's like Yurak was putting there in the chat. For sure. Hmm, looks like they're going to be hitting me with a whole bunch of those. Very nice. Okay, Ra, we got to get a nice big crit here pretty quick. Ah, yes. Okay, very cool. Now, let's see here. Yes. Let's supercharge Ra. Let's start loading up the rest of our blades so that we can get a nice big hit off of these three guys. Hmm, yep, I figured. Scarecrow. I love the Scarecrow spell. It's it's always been one of my favorite spells. Very neat animation. Yes, this is the very beginning of Chrysalis, so we are just getting started in it. It's a lot of fun though. It's pretty cool. I like the I like the whole Crypt quest. I haven't been through the whole thing, but I've been told over and over again how very long it is. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting it to be a long dungeon, <laughs> a, lo a long world. But what's neat about it for me is, uh, the, st is um, the storylines are all fair, are all new to me. So since the first time I'll be really running it all the way through, I'm really looking forward to seeing all the, all the different weavings and wanderings throughout the world. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, with that up, I think we got good. You played a few months ago, but stopped at Polaris because you moved, and now you want to get back and continue. Oh, you should. It's been it's been a lot of fun. I'm kind of kind of where I think a lot of us are hoping for a brand new world. Hopefully this fall, for for a new world to be added in, with new quests and stuff. Um, that's been a topic that we brought up a few times on chat. We do know that they're getting ready to do a big revamp on ooh, a big revamp on the PVP, and we talked quite a bit about that last Saturday. Um, PVP is a topic that they are focusing on quite a bit, and I think because I think they've you know, realize that they've just, they've lost so much of, so many people that used to play PvP a lot and everything, and it's not really translating into new PvP players as well. Ah, uh, yes, the crown event need to come first, for sure. For sure. You know. But yeah, that's, there's a lot of speculation as to what they're going to, in end, do to make PvP great again, or be able to get people in, you know, and I think that's the biggest challenge they have, and I don't think they're really addressing it right, but you know, we'll have to see what they finally do in the end, you know, because the best thing they can do P to PvP is set it up so that it's more accessible to players, especially members, you know, who don't want to go out and spend a whole lot of extra money on crowns and stuff. Yeah, who can stay on the computer longer? For sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, um, you know, it used to be, like, I remember back in the days, in the early days, you know, before 
PvP gear got before before um, um, crowns gear and stuff got so prevalent. I mean, you could go in the PvP and you could have a pretty good challenge just with your basic school gear and everything at your level. You know, now PvP, unless you have the right right gear, um, at one level you're going to get in there and you're not going to feel like you even have a chance to it. You know, I think that's 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 unfortunate. You know. Because, I mean, if you're doing good PvE, then you should be able to go into PvP and at least stand a chance or a challenge. And I think that's why a lot of people don't PvP, is because um, it's, it's pretty much gone to a pay, pay-to-win type of environment, unfortunately. Okay, so we defeat the Crypt Spiders. Fantastic. Let's search for the armor. Okay. Okay. Shrieks and cries under the swarm Are you kidding me? <laughs> Taste my rage, intruder. Okay, this is one of the reasons why I am I have the death amulet ready to go. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go ahead and let's thin this thin this thing out. So let's go with one, two, three. We'll leave those three. Leave those three. We're gonna get rid of all these guys because I don't need all these guys here. We're gonna go down to just one or two of these. Get rid of these. We don't really need these. Don't need Neris. Okay. Alrighty then, so let's see here. I think we stand a chance. It's just gonna be it's gonna be kinda tough. Okay, so we can go ahead and power those up. We can go ahead and power those up. Okay, let's do this. Been a while since they have released Imperia. I haven't reached Imperia yet, even though I made my account in 2014. Yeah, I haven't hit Imperia yet either, so I'm pretty excited about that. Okay. So that's going to be our one right here. There we go. And I got plenty of that to go along with. Alrighty. So. Mouse Revenants, of course, they're all balanced. Okay. This could be a challenge. This could be a challenge. Alrighty. So first off, let's go ahead and let's get a Wraith ready to go. Um, I don't really have any shields that are going to help me off at all. Okay. If I do this right, I should be able to take all of them out. Hmm. Did I have my reshuffle in there? This is probably an awful time to think if I had my reshuffle in there. <laughs> oh, well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Very nice. Ouch. Okay. Okay, here we go. Very good. Okay, I guess I, you know, I should have put in some vengeances in there as well. That would have been valuable. For sure would have been valuable. You're killing me. It's mostly because you have this thing where you really like the game for a period of time and then just completely stop playing because of bored and then play a different game later, come back to the game. No, I understand what you're saying. I mean, I've been playing since about 2009 and I'll do that. I'll play and then I'll not play for a while, then I'll come back and play, then I'll not play for a while, then I'll come back and play. You know, that's something that I do a lot with Wizard 101. Um, I think one of the reasons why I've had such a good stretch of playtime with it recently is because I, I basically balance it out by playing Minecraft. So, you know, I, since, I, since I run both, um, both games quite a bit, you know, I go back and forth from them. They give me a good balance. Both have their own grinds to them, so, you know, it's... it's um, it's been a lot of fun, especially doing the content creation between both of them and trying to find new things to do with them and stuff. So that's one of the reasons why I've been able to play more often Virex than I used to. And it's it's been a, it's been a ton of fun, you know. And then it's really neat to get people, it's really neat to get to know people who play both games like I do and start balancing that out or even just finding people that just play like to play one side of it. Yeah, you rack, you just started again a few months ago. Yeah. You know, a lot of people are getting back into Wizard 101. They used to play it when they were a kid. And that's I think that's why the college numbers, you know, and late high school numbers are up so high in the game. Yeah. Short period of time, then you get tired and balancing. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, with me, a lot of it's just so that, you know, I don't get bored playing one, one game all the time when I'm doing content creation. You know, I really enjoy playing both games. But, of course, with anything, you can eventually get tired of it. Oh, that was so close. So close. At least that's going to help me out with some health there. Very nice. Let's 
Okay, so let's see here. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and add this one there. Balancing it out. Oh, yeah, that's hilarious, Yurak. That's awesome. You know, there's a dad joke if there ever was one. But yeah, it's been it's been a lot of fun doing both of them. You know, and then picking up another game, like I was playing some Minecraft Dungeons the other day, you know, and um, that's more like like playing some Diablo, that particular little little offshoot game. It's a lot of fun. Okay. Well, two more pips, and I'm ready to go ahead and do something else here. Yeah, I don't need the heal. Okay, very good. Hmm, I couldn't remember if I left a reshuffle in there. That can, this, this could be a perilous game here. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Hmm, yeah, let's throw that up there. We're just going to use the Wraith to finish off this Deer Mouse really quick and get him out of the way. Nice, nice, nice. But you know what? It's, it's made it fun, you know? And so I found a good balance in it. The, the trick is, you know, I, th I think the toughest part about playing those two games is that there's a heavy grind to both games. So to advance on certain things, you have to do some grinding, you know? Um, with Wiz, I guess you could just go straight through, but because I play, because I focus this Wiz twice a week, you know, I grind between it. So if I have a, so like I'll grind Tartarus between sessions when I get a chance or I'll build or I'll do pets and stuff between sessions. So, you know, that's kind of, you know, how, how I've been working it now for a little while. Yeah, I saw a reshuffle in there. Whew, I kept forgetting whether it was there or not. Very good. Okay. Is there such a thing as balance prisms like for converting? No, there isn't because the way the balance school is set up, it's not so much about balance prisms in that you have um, elemental spells for, for attacking balance guys. So, I mean, I have another deck that's focused on my elemental spells, and that's the one I've, that's the one I've used before when I've been attacking um, balance opponents. But once I got my amulet, my death amulet going, I said, well, let's try a different strategy. Let's have more like a death cards, I mean, a death deck that I can use to fight against these guys because there can be some neat advantages to running a death deck. And um, so far, I'm actually really pretty happy with some of the advantages I've gotten so far. Well, let's go ahead and hit him. Let's see how much we can do. Like right now, um, see, like this is this is this is my first real test with three balance guys that I that you know, and um, it's I think it's working pretty good. You know, like so far, just raising up the um, the death guy here and using him, and then you know giving them as strong as that I can with using the feints. It's, I think it's worked pretty effectively keeping me alive without having to use any heals. Like this is almost gonna heal me close to almost my full health again, you know, without any stress, you know. I, I feel like I'm living like a death guy right now. I feel like it at the moment. And it's, it's, you know, not as effective as if it was straight death. No, absolutely not. But hey, you know, I think we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to reshuffle here to finish these two guys off because I think all my death attacks I've already used them all up so what I would do in my eyes is just use convert prisms then an attack yep well for sure you know and all the other schools have that option all the other schools have that option um, we just don't happen to have it as a as a option in um, with balance and we don't and, and all the balance attack all the all the balance AOE spells are all balance spells so they don't work really good against multiple opponents. So, you know, like normally, you know, I, I would use, you know, like a strategy I would use normally if I was, um, if I was um, playing this with um, just the, just the other spells is I'd probably be using um, my Elemental Blast, maybe Chimera and um, Hydra is what I'd be using as my main spells. I'm just trying it with death stuff just to see what it's like. You know, and I think it's been a lot of fun so far. I'm kind of excited. Let's go and throw this one up too. Well, the nest is not balanced, so that will be good for you. Yeah, yeah, yep. Oh, yeah, the nest is not balanced. Yeah, there already seems to be quite a few balanced fights I've already had to have since I got in here. But, you know, I mean, it is it is what it is. Sometimes you have to fight your opponents that are in the same school. Sometimes you don't. Um, and balance, it's not any, it's, it's not any differently, different challenges than any of the other ones. I mean, it has its own unique issues. Okay, let's finish this one off right here. I think we should be able to get that guy out of the game. 
but yeah, since I had the since I got the um, the exalted death amulet, I want to try this strategy, and I kind of like it because I don't have to worry about using healing spells. Like if I was um, if I was doing it with the other way, I'd be worrying about healing spells all the time. You think I clicked on the wrong one? Well, at least one of them will be dead, you know. I had more blades saved up, so I guess there was a hope that I'd be able to get this guy out of the way, but I didn't quite kill him, so. Uh -huh. Yep, and I'm back to full health. See, you can't do that with regular balance spells. Heck, even with the um, elemental balance spells, you can't do that with. But, um, yeah. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put the feint on him. Add the feint here. There we go. And we'll finish that guy off here in a second. I don't know. It was just an experiment to see how well it would work. And it's not too terrible. Not too bad. I mean, one advantage I can tell you right now is I haven't had to worry about my health getting too low. Verse, and so, like, I can I can kick both these healing spells out because I, I don't really need them. It's been kind of nice. Okay, let's throw that up. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, so it's starting to work. It's starting to work. Hey, guys. So this is Kimmy Say. Thank you, everybody, for hopping in and checking out the stream. Um, chat is wide open. You can hop in with Yurak and Virex and talk, guys. It's all open. You can use the zero pip, the zero pip for the last guy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You're totally, totally right on that. That's what I'm going to do with that. Okay, let's pass on that. Let's see if I can do it without having to do the reshuffle. I got the reshuffle if I need it. You know, I've got the reshuffle if I need it. But let's see if I can do it without the reshuffle. Yeah, use the wand hit for the last guy. Absolutely. That is, you, you guys are already in my head, for sure. Um, yeah. Now, if you guys are enjoying the stream, I hope you guys are having a good time. Don't forget, I do stream four times a week. Okay, so let's see if we can't finish that guy off with him. Actually, don't it won't kill. Uh, might not. We'll find. Oh yeah, it's it's balance, isn't it? <laughs> You're right, Virex. I didn't think about that. Yeah, it's a balance wand, so so it's not gonna it's not gonna do enough. You're right, it's not. Well, I gotta wait anyway, so let's go ahead and just use it. Let's see how much it does do. Very cool. Yeah. And there we are. How much does it do? Oh, look at that. That was so close. That was so close. I'm gonna have to do the reshuffle anyways. That almost did it. It was that close, guys. He had like 199, and I hit him with 182. Jeez. So close. If I would have critical, he'd be dead. If I would have critical, he would have been dead. But that's fine. That's fine. I think the fight still ended up working in my favor in the end. Oh, my goodness. I don't need all this stuff. Okay. Just give me another wand hit, and I'm done. There we go. That's funny. That's funny. Very, very good. Yep. So, uh, you don't have an AoE option for fights against balanced enemies until 110 because that spell is uh, Yeah, there you go. Yep. You're pre yep. I'm with you there. Yeah, we don't have that option until 110, which is fine. You know, I mean, at least we eventually do get the option. That's kind of cool. Here we go. These look like fitting weapons and armor for defense. Nice. That you works. Speak Calvert Hawk Lord's name and the protective wards vanish. Okay, we have collected, collected the armor. So let's, let's talk to Divin Whiteheart. Yeah, see, look at that. I, I'm walking out with full health. So, you know, the death spells, I'm, I'm actually kind of liking the death deck that I got built now in my guy. So I think that's going to work out long term. That's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Okay, let's see here. Hmm, Divin Whiteheart. He should be right up here. There he is. I see him off to my left. Okay. A perfect weapon of my ancestors. The fight continues. Fantastic. Come, now that you have restored my freedom, I can complete my mission to discover the Umbra Legion's plan. Sounds Meet like me a plan. The silent market. Okay, so now we get to go to the silent market. Very nice. Let's see here. Should be over this way. There we are. 
Yeah, I get mixed up in Chrysalis. So I'm going to have to get used to the layout of Chrysalis again. Okay, so Silent Market, and I think our buddies are here, too. Oh, Divum's right there. You made it safely. Good. This part of Bastion was once a vibrant market, full of life. Yeah, it looks kind of gloomy right now. Lived and laughed here. Ah, you don't have death damage, which makes battles take longer. You're right. I don't have death damage, and they do take longer because of that. My people, the burrowers, have a hidden. That's why I should probably get another set of clothes. Yeah, maybe I should find a set of death clothes that would give me some death attack. But Rose could not learn my contact's name. Hmm. For even I, this way, we keep the contact safe. We refer to him or her as Cornelius. Cornelius was supposed Thanks, to Virex, for the idea. I think that's what I'm going to do. Clock in the silent market. Help me find it. Okay. So. There's some cloth. Nice. We found it, Divan. Ah, the red cloth. Yes, perfect. But wait, these symbols mean danger. Do they now? There are actually some the loot in the Mirror Lake that gives balance the, room, the change to have more damage on other schools. Yeah, I think there was. You're right, Iraq. There was some stuff over there. Yeah, it's low level now, so I think I think if I I know I can get some stuff that would give me some good death advantage, um, just right in the marketplace right now. So I bet you I could go. Oh, we gotta go to the war room. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. That's nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I, I love these quests where the guy actually comes with you on them, even though he doesn't. What would be great is if the mouse would actually, you know, take a spot and you could, like, choose spells for the mouse or, he, or he'd just fight like a monster, too. But, hey, you take what you can get, right? I love it that he's following you around. I just wish he would do something in the fight, in the battles. <laughs> that would make life a little bit easier. Okay. Mmm, mouse and a wizard. And a wizard? There's no fighting. There's no fighting in the war room. He does. Mm. Spellbinder, I'll aid you how I can. Okay. Look at your mind damage. Was my damage go up or something? Oh, very cool. Had no idea. That's neat. Plus 50% damage. Well, you can't can't gripe about that. Let's go ahead and put on the right deck, though, before we get involved in this. There we go. That's the one we want. Uh, Vanek War Screams. Okay. And we had Myth and Fire. We got some Myth stuff in there. Now nah, we'll get rid of the Fire Guy before it's dangerous. Okay. Yes, he does, Viva Live, live Evil. I did not notice that. Thank you so much. So happy to see you in chat. Hopefully you're having a good day as well. Very, very nice. I did not notice that when I played through with my other wizard. That's cool. Okay. So we need to get rid of the Night Dread. That will be our first focus. Here, let's throw a shield up. Hmm. Yeah, that is pretty good. Put one more raw on your deck. One more raw on my deck? I could do that. I only have the one sitting in there right now. Thanks for the thanks for the for the idea, Virex. Thank you very much. And Viva Levels, very nice to see you in chat again today. Very nice. Ooh. I've always liked that particular spell, the Keeper of the Flame. I've always liked the animation. Okay, let's see here. Sorry, drink was low, had to get some more. Alrighty, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and get that off. Um, probably won't need Neris. Let's go ahead and put the blades up and then we can go ahead and use a saber tooth to knock off the knock off the bounce guy. Thank you, Zenga. That's what I was doing. I was thinking I'm thirsty, so I want to get my drink ready to go. Thank you very much. Hmm. Well, that's not going to help me. I don't plan on using raw. Okay, so let's throw that one up real quick. Hmm. Love getting a meteorite. It's okay. You can keep meteoriting me all day long. That's not that bad. 
Ooh, ninja pigs, though. Glad I threw up the shield there. Very good. Fantastic. Well, how is everybody doing? Remember, chat is wide open, guys. Anybody can hop into chat. Love talking to you guys while we do some fighting. We are on the third hour of stream today, and it looks like we're making some pretty good progress here in Chrysalis. Exciting stuff. Hmm. Should I just go ahead and do raw? I can go ahead and do raw right now. Hmm. Would raw finish him off, though? Hmm. That's a good question. Let's throw the blade storm up first. There we go, the fire snow, I mean the magma man, magma man. <laughs> thinking, I don't know why I keep thinking fire snowman, but yeah, magma man, okay. Awesome. So I got my new pet, which gives me additional critical bonuses. If you guys weren't here earlier, pretty liking him quite a bit. Okay, Ra, let's see. Faint the boss. If I had a faint ready to throw up, yes, that's what I'd be doing. Oops, no critical. That would have been nice if I had a critical, though. <sighs> Might do enough, though. I mean, if he's close to the what he did with the other guy. Oh, my goodness. Missed him by 38. Missed him by 38. Where is a... Where is a one of those other spells when you need it? Okay, I'm tossing the trap, throwing the balance blade up. Give me a wand spell. Give me a wand spell so I can finish this guy off. There we go. <laughs> There's all the feints. Very. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just keep um we'll get, we'll keep fainting Vanek here while I'm waiting for a wand spell to come up so I can finish off on um, the other guy. I'm only a wand spell away. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. You know, they, have been, they haven't been using really big spells on me, so, it's, so the fight hasn't been as tough as it could have been. There we go. Let's just, yeah, let's go ahead and finish him off. That way I don't have to worry about him hitting me anymore. Oh, yes. Now the feint's stinging the other way with that plus 40 that he gets against me. That's okay. Very cool. Okay. Nice. Took him out. Now let's finish off Vanek here. Let's go ahead and sharpen that one. Let's put another feint. So now we can double feint him when we do attack him. Sounds like a strategy to me, right? Yeah. So we double feint the boss. We'll have a 70 and an 80% feint on him. Yeah, no problem. Okay, now let's go ahead and start building up the blades. And then we're going to go ahead and knock him down here pretty quick. Very, very good. Awesome. So just a reminder, guys, if you haven't um, checked out my YouTube channel, I'd just recommend you go checking it out. i got a whole bunch of great content on there that's similar to the content I have here during stream, as well as some Let's Play stuff from my um, Let's Play world and some tutorials and stuff. So if you guys enjoy some of the content, um, check out my YouTube. Give me a... Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube if you get a chance. And if you like the videos, hit a like on it because that really helps um, the channel get those gets those pushed out. Okay, I'm not going to use the rates this time. Um, I could use Sabretooth. Hmm. I wonder if we could kill him. It depends. Let's throw Vengeance up and let's do a really big hit on him because Sabretooth is pretty, pretty handy. We'll throw that on Artorias. Sabretooth's going to be... Yeah, it's more, more bang for the buck. Let's throw the Hex one. See if we can't do this in one hit. Very, very good. 
Okay, so guys, we've been talking about a lot of fun things on chat today. We've talked a little bit about pets, like what is your favorite pet, and do you have a favorite pet for the school that you um, like to play a lot? Uh, we talked a little bit about, um, well, not a whole lot about PvP, but it did come up. Okay, Sabretooth, let's see. Can we get a critical with you, Sabretooth? Also, I did throw out a question, you know, what is your favorite pickup line? You know, do you have a crazy, funny pickup line that you've heard? Um, throw that out there as well. We are in the last hour of this, so let's see how far we can get in Chrysalis today. But the chat is open, wide open. Oh, yep, that pretty much finished him off. Nice, 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 nice. Appreciate that. Defeated by a mouse and a wizard. Quickly, search the chamber for clues. You weren't able to collect that last reagent because you have the maximum number of those. What? I have maxed out reagents? Oh, that's not good. How do you... Hmm, I might have to sell some reagents. Okay, well, that's that's not good at all. Okay, well, let's get the war it. plans. <laughs> yes, I see Cornelius's mark on the sash. Let us take this outside so we can read it more easily. Okay, let's go for it. Yeah, I like that. Very, very nice. But, yeah, my reagents maxed out. That's not good. Okay. These documents reveal the Umbra Legion's plans. Oh, very good. I have ordered forces from Fort Rockius to bolster Camp Havoc. Additional siege engines are to be constructed at once. Okay. Once the forces are readied, we will destroy, destroy the borough holdouts, holdouts in Peppergrass Nook, Peppergrass Nook and Queen, Queen Myrtletown. Myrtletown. Camp Havoc is also creating a new powerful form of Goliath. The process is painful. But the destructive power is mm, that doesn't sound good. Glass are pretty big oh, as it begin with. Yes, terrible, aren't they? The Shadow Queen's armies have long pursued us. We held Bastion for a hundred years against the darkness before it was finally lost. Oh. These crystal statues that stand vigil in Bastion are a testament to the horrors the Shadow Queen inflicted upon my people. Look at them, and then I will tell you a sorrowful tale. Hmm. Okay, so let's go check out some... Hey, there's my crafting guy. We're going to go ahead and talk to him and get our crafting quest. It's an honor to meet you, Spellbinder. It's knowledge you... I see by your bearing that you know mm -hmm. the crafting skill of the burrower. Old times. Back. Let us begin with a simple exercise that my master forced you me to repeat. The ornate burrower trail. No, no, you only have to make it once. Okay. I can say you the rest. We burrowers appreciate well-crafted sitting instruments. Do this right, and I'll reward you the Promethean Crafter Badge. Wow, Comet Tails. I gotta get eight Comet Tails for this? Hmm. That's gonna be fun. Okay. Let's buy it. Very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Oops. Let's get on the right quest, okay? We gotta go to the Fading Footsteps. There's one of them. Although the features are rough, the statue radiates a spirit. And a horror of a heartbeat. And an aura. You sense a spirit trapped deep inside. In Bastion's fields, crystal flowers grow between the statues, row on row that mark our place. Uh, and in the sky above, the bumblers, bumblers bravely buzz, buzz. Scarce heard amid the battle, battle below. below. Very nice. You can tell that they've increased that when they threw out Chrysalis, they really increased a lot of the production value on the game. We are the dreamers, not dead yet far from alive. But days ago, we loved, felt dawn. And saw sunset glow. Now we stand forever, frozen out of time in Bastion's fields. Yeah, the voice acting definitely, I think, has gotten a lot better since the early game and stuff. Bastion's walls were too strong to break, and our stores were vast. We would not fall to siege, so the Shadow Queen turned to dark magic. Of course, because she's the a dark Shadow magic pro a spell of provocateur. Unimaginable cruelty. It transformed all within Bastion into crystal. Those burrowers who were not caught in her spell fled to the last wood, where we have continued to resist her for generations. Mm. I was not alive when Bastion fell, but my parents' parents barely escaped. My people have fought the Shadow Queen since time out of mind. It's a long time. these plans to our forces in the last wood. To get there, we must travel through the moon cliffs. However, the gates out of Bastion are warded, and my opening runes were lost. I'm not sure how we can get a rune to unlock the gate to the moon cliffs. You know someone who might help us. That Goliath you spared. Sure. Calaclag did say he owed you one. If you can find him, maybe he can help you out. Sounds I've good to me. I've never heard of an intelligent Goliath before, let alone a benign one. Still, it's worth a it's shot. It's worth a shot. I'll I say we go for it. Okay, very nice. And um, I think before I run over and do that, 
I need to find what's his face. Um, there's well, no, that's just Jordy Night Eyes. Jordy Night Eyes. That's a Star Trek reference. Okay, let's see here. Um, where where are you? Where is Zeke? I know Zeke's around here somewhere. There he is. Okay, let's see here. Let's get the Zeke quest. Well, lucky who it is. Mm -hmm. Sure is nice. I come to hear the we gotta find the Chrysalis Crickets. And... Okay. And Eloise has something for us. Hello, wizard. How... Oh my. That doesn't sound right. Mm, the Perhaps museum? Help me then? The Royal Museum uh -huh. loved my Aztec. Could you be so kind? More chrysanthemums. chrysanthemums you okay. see for me? Well, good. At least I got those ready to go in case I run Thanks, across those dear. things for side quests. Okay, so now let's go talk to Calaclack. Hey, want a questing buddy? I believe I'm close to where you are. Oh, yeah, absolutely. For sure. I love questing buddies who are on level with me. Aviva. So if you want to come here and hang out, come by. Now that I have escaped certain death, my Very good. Have no tasks for me. Awesome. It's always better with two. I just don't like I don't like high level carries. It kinda makes it kinda kinda hurts the game a little bit. In the blind tower, but it is guarded by a Goliath slasher. Nice. Let's go and take on this Goliath Slasher. Okay, Divin, this is what's going the on. Goliath came through. Strange time. Ah, you know, he's nice. Go to the blind tower and retrieve You're the only 91. Come on in, Viva La Evil. Maybe he'll trust you. <laughs> I'll watch for patrols. You're, yeah, I, I just I just end up I, I do all the side quests, so my level's always gonna be higher than most people who who there's a lot of people ahead of me who have who have lower levels. Okay, let's grab this. Awesome, Viva. Okay. There we go. Alexandria Nightwalker. Fantastic. Come on. Very nice. We are good to go. Let's see here. Okay, let's head over to the Moon Rune in the Silent Market. And there we are. One moon rune. Very, very good. Well, Viva, whenever you want to come in, I'm just going to hop into this dungeon right here. And we're going to keep questing for sure. Do, 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 do. Leslie, why come here? Gate rune? You bother. I, I crush now. now. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, and he has a stinger. So let's check our deck and make sure we're ready for this guy. Do I got things to take him out? Yes, I do got him for him and him for him. That looks good to me. Okay, and so um, let's let's get these out of here. After Polaris, I should be able to carry you and crawl. I'm not worried about being carried. I want to fight the I want to fight the good fight. Thank you, though, Zenga. Okay, there we go. We got Alexandra Nightwalker in her stylish Hades outfit. Very good. Very good. Looking hot. Okay, let's go take them. Awesome. Very nice. I actually have that same Hades helmet. I just happened to, um, yeah, not wear it. Okay. Hmm. Who do I want to go after? I want to do the, the Goliath. We're going to get rid of that Goliath first. That sounds like a good strategy. Awesome. Very good. Well, Zenga, that's awesome. Thank you so much for the help. Never been to KH on this computer? Oh, you haven't. Oh, so that's always taking some time to load load up. I see. <laughs> that's funny. I understand, Viva. No problem. Very cool. Now, let's see here. Oh, she's a death character. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and blade her up as well. Let's get rid of that one. There we go. One blade storm for both of us. <laughs> Making sure he had converts. Yeah, you're right, because the Goliath is death too. Yeah, I realize that now. I absolutely realize that. I was I was making sure I had um, some non-balanced spells for the balance guy over there. That way I can knock him out as well. Very good. So, very nice. Yeah, we're getting we're making some good progress. Okay, let's see here. I've got about 40 minutes left, and then I'm going to have to get off because I'm taking my daughter and her husband to dinner because he just got a job and they're moving out of town, so we want to say congrats. 
Oh, that's okay. It's not a big deal. Let's see here. Let's, um, do, 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 do. Hmm, hmm. We'll kick him to the side for right now. Let's get the spirit blade up. Now it's back. Yeah, that's no problem. Thank you, Alexandra. Or can I call you Viva? Yes. Tell them congrats from Zenga as well. Fantastic. Yes, I will, Zenga. Yeah, she, um, they just graduated in May with their engineering degrees, and her husband was able to land a job um, last week. We're pretty excited for him, uh, but they're moving away, so they're going to be about a two-hour drive away, which is not that bad. So, you know, it gives me a reason to go down towards where they live and visit them and everything. But, yeah, I mean, they've, they've been living in town with us because that's where they've been going to school. But now that they're um, now that they're leaving, it's all like, oh. Happy for them, but, you know, at the same time, I'm going to miss them when they're gone. So, okay. Let's see here. We'll pass on that. Very good. Okay, so what else has been going on, guys? Thank you for joining the stream. My name is Kimmy Say, and I teach science, but I also enjoy playing some Wizard 101 and some Minecraft. I stream four times a week. I stream on Tuesday afternoons, like we are today, and Saturdays with Wizard 101, and on Fridays and Sundays with Minecraft. Um, if you like any of the content here and you're having a good time, I su su suggest you check out my YouTube channel as well. And um, if you have a time to subscribe to that and watch a few videos and do some likes, that really, really helps me out there also. Okay, there we go. Well, I could do a raw. No, I wanted something other than raw. Not so raw. Okay, I might just, I might just hit the Goliath the way this is going. Okay, let's throw some vengeance up. Never can get the card I want when I want it. Yeah, those Goliaths look pretty good. I like that. I like that balanced Goliath. He looks pretty, pretty interesting. I like the I like the contrast of his brown, of his brown or gold, on the rest of his um, rest of his outfit with a little purple. Yeah, the little purple looks pretty cool up in there too. Okay, well, let's see here. I think. What does she all have on him? Oh, she does have a bit some big attacks so i don't really want to destroy that hmm, hmm 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 well let's throw some let's throw some of this on the goliath let's see how well this will do on the goliath here i might just finish them off you never know okay and there we go zenga did you have a good dinner because you said you had to go to get something to eat or yeah i get might, might have been earlier it might have been later than dinner it might have been breakfast hmm Ah, yes, the King Arthur. Yeah, that's not a bad spell. Hmm, not as much as I would have liked, though. Not as much as I would have liked. Very good. Okay. Let's see here. Well, let me kick these. I don't really need any of those. Hmm. Pass. Okay, so what else is going on? So some of the things we've been chalking out in chat, and everybody's welcome to hop in chat anytime they want. We've been talking about what is your favorite um, pet, you know, and what type of stats you look for a pet. I know a lot of people like to get double trips. That means they get double criticals, double, um, what do you call those? Double damage and double may casts. That, those are, those are uh, yeah, triple, triple doubles. I think that's what they call it. And that's, those are pretty cool. I don't have any of them like that. Like right now, I've got like double crit and double damage on my current pet, with some with a blade and some other and some other, oh yeah, and extra mana, which is yeah, it's 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 okay, not something I look for, okay. But you know, I'm pretty, I, I'm not, I'm not, not unhappy with it. It's not bad, okay. I think she's about ready to do a big spell. Alexandra is probably just waiting to cast it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Viva's bringing it. Viva la evil, live evil. Okay, there we go. And what is he going to do? Oh, can't find the blades. <laughs> yeah, you go for it. I've been throwing blades on you anyways. I bet you you're still going to do a lot of damage. You go for it. That's worth it. Okay. Ooh, it's the dinosaur. 
The Death of Sore. Pretty cool. I like that spell. It's neat. Yeah, it did it. It finished him off. And I think he'll probably finish off the other guy, too. Well, that's that's dandy. Works for me. Very good. Very good. I just didn't want to take all of her all of her um, feints that she put up. That would have been horrible. I don't like doing that. Okay, here we go. 67? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'll get a chance. I'll pass. You, yeah, you underestimate. I do that, too. I would rather it be really big than me um, waste a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Goliath, you find a rune inscribed with a moon symbol hanging on the wall. Nice. We got a rune. Got a rune. Okay. So I guess we need to go talk to Divin Whiteheart in the silent market. Divin, let's go talk. Talk stuff here. Hmm. Okay, should be right around the corner. There you go. That is exactly what we need. No problems, I trust. Hey, we got through it. Excellent. Go to Bastion and find then use the rune to open the gate and head through. I'll meet you in the moon cliffs. Fantastic. Well, I can tell you right now from my experience of playing with my my um, storm character, I'm actually having a lot easier time with my balance character than I did with my storm character in here. Um, I seem to have a lot lot more trouble with some of the bosses with my st with my storm character, which was which I find interesting, you know. So, um, yeah, this has been pretty good here. Romo Night Eyes. Hmm. I'm just going to say hi to him and move on. Okay. Yeah, now they're doing Star Trek references with the names of the characters. Okay. Moon Cliffs. There we go. And here we are. We are actually in the world of Chrysalis now, not just in the Bastion. Oh, yeah. I remember this place. This place is pretty cool. I like the aesthetics. You know, it's um, very alien Since in the Bastion way it looks, but yet it's still natural. Our very cool. Our home has become one of the most dangerous places in Chrysalis. Really? Chrysalis. We must get to the last wood to reach my people and tell them what we have learned. Yes, we do. If we manage to keep the Umbra Legion at bay, I'm sure we will recruit more aid in your war against the Shadow Queen. Awesome. I came here from the last wood through a tunnel, avoiding the Yellow Jacket sentries who patrol the moon cliffs. Let us return that way. Okay, let's find this tunnel that he had. Ah, this must be the tunnel. Okay. One tunnel. Someone found my tunnel and collapsed it. Ah, the rat returns to the mouse trap. Mouse hole, you mean. Mm -hmm. What? Never mind that. Kill him. Kill them both. Um, I think we can get away with this. Oops, not that. Not that. Not that. There we go. Hey, Temprex, awesome, what's up? How you doing today? I missed your stream the other day. I had to go out and take my wife shopping, but I was, I'm, I'm still watching for you, so I'm keening eye. I'm going to definitely get in there. Ooh, awesome, Temprex. Thank you so much for the subscription. Fantastic. Hey, guys, if you're listening and you want to and the, and you want to go check out another really good streamer, you ought to be keeping your eyes open for Temprex out there. Fantastic guy. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Awesome. I will definitely catch you this week, though. I think that's a goal of mine, is to catch everybody who streams that has been to my channel this week. I want to, I'm going to be watching, watching my twit, watching my, um, <laughs> yeah, watching my stream, watching the streams. We watch them. Well, thank you. No, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Very, very good guys. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just having fun now. I'm finally in Chrysalis. You know, I think I lost Viva, Viva Live Evil somewhere. She was, she was running, she was doing some questing with me. But I think she's in here somewhere. Ah, yes. There we go. It's nothing like getting hit by a plague -oni. Very good. Nice. Awesome. Yep. So, yeah, we've been hanging out and just working through some chrysalis. I'm a little tired. It's been a long day, you know. Ah, this is a solo part, so I have to work through it myself. I kind of figured that might have been the case. 
You know, okay, let's knock that out of the world. Let's throw the blade storm up. Yeah, the, some of those solo parts, I mean, they kind of hit you with it when, when you're not looking. It's like, boom. Oh, you're alone. Good luck. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah, so yeah, I had some summer school this morning, and I guess just being being up all day has finally started to hit me, you know. And so I'm just starting to get a little tired at the moment. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's just like out of the blue. Oh, that's solo. What? Yeah, okay. Yep. You know, sometimes... Sometimes trying to get kids to do math early in the morning for four hours, it, it'll drain it, drain it out of you. How to, trying to get them to learn how to solve equations, I'll tell you what. Especially with negatives and positives, and when they have a hard time with that. Woo-wee. Oh, it's, ch- it's fun stuff. Yep, so very, very good. Now, I'm, I'm still looking towards to the fall. Learning. Hey, it's Scurzy Wurzy. How are you doing, sir? Yes, I, I got to get kids learning in the mornings, you know, since I'm doing summer school. I only got two more days of it, and then then I'm off for the rest of the summer, and they're off for the rest of the summer, too. So I know they're looking forward to that as well, you know. Yes, yes. Yeah, like during the summer, I always try to I always try to work summer school because it's only a half day, and we only do it for like about three to four weeks up here, generally to improve either math or reading skills of students who had a really hard time the year before. You teach your brother math. Oh, yeah, it, it can be tough. And I'll tell you what, you know, the the biggest trouble my the biggest trouble my summer school, school students have is dealing with positives and negatives as they're trying to solve those equations. It's kind of tough. Oh, very good. Well, Temperix, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Going to catch you on your next stream. I for sure going to be there. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're a killer. Yeah, usually the studying sessions are around four hours. Yeah, yeah, it does take some time. Okay, let's knock these guys down. Skurzy, what have you been up to? I don't think I've seen you for a few days. Hopefully everything's been well with you. I know everything's been pretty well with me. Awesome. Ah, uh, yeah, since you don't have a teacher. Yeah, it is. It is The whole online thing's a little bit tougher, you know. I agree. That That is a tougher thing to do. Um, I remember when I was finishing some of my master's degree and I had to take a few courses online. Those were the courses I really disliked the most, my online courses, because it just didn't feel like I was really, um, I was really getting anything out of them, if you know what I mean. I mean, I got, I went through it, I read the book, I read, I read, I, you know, I wrote what I had to, and I really tried to understand what it was kicking out, but it's really hard to engage people online in a class, so it's not like a real classroom where you can ask and engage the teacher or engage other students in discussions and stuff. Um, doing discussion questions online and, ha- and having to respond that way, it just isn't the same thing, you know, at least for, at least for higher level courses. And for math courses, I could see where it could be, where it could be a challenge because, you know, um, learning a skill isn't the same as getting somebody to coach you through a skill. Okay, let's go talk to Devin. Divim. Since we have finished that one, it looks like we're going to have to work our way through the bee's nest now. I believe that's what we're going to be doing. Okay. Yes. Back out again. There he is, Divim. You've been farming and having a good village and the fortified good time. Awesome. Awesome. Nick is in the house. Chrysalis is awesome. Very happy to be here. I love this because a lot of this is so new to me. It's like playing it for the first time. Then the Shadow Queen drew all the arachnids all the arachna into her web. It's mm. fantastic. We have to sneak through the bee territories. Nice. The yep. Nick is there. Skurzy's there. Nice. The banded hornets often have black light powder stuck to their Divim, him the homie. He's awesome, isn't he? Collect several portions of powder. Okay. So now let's go ahead and defeat some banded hornets. Yeah, I've got the right deck ready to go. Here we go. Now we've got some. De- now we got some classic defeat and collect. Banded hornets. Let's take them down. Very good. And I think we have to collect five. E. Okay. Oh, I forgot how high of a level these guys will get. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I do like the. I do like the. I do like the. Um. The hornet animation is pretty cool. I think they could have made the wings a little longer, but I, I still think that's pretty cool. I like their six gangly legs there. Hey, that's crazy. That stuff's crazy. Fantastic. 
Awesome to see all the names hopping in in chat. Hopefully everybody's having a fantastic day. Me, I'm just kind of recovering from the end of my day. But that's great. That's great either way. Okay, let's throw that up. You need couch potatoes. Now who, now, who can you farm to get couch potatoes? I think there's lots of opportunities in Winter Tusk to get couch potatoes. You just have to look up which, which bosses hand them out. But um, that's, that's usually where I've gotten most of my couch potatoes is farming is um, different bosses down in Winter Tusk. That's where I've gotten couch potatoes from. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where I've gotten most of mine from. And then magma peas, I've just been getting those through the store. You've been busy farming, but you get like nine a night. Oh, that's not terrible. That's pretty good. Hmm. Haven't seen a troll hit me for a long time. Oh yeah, that's that's a nicer troll that leaves the trap. Yes. Oh, very good. Very good. Awesome to see everybody hopping in on the stream. Thank you very much. I do want to put a shout out to Temperix who gave me a brand new subscription today, and don't want it, and also to Impertinent Horse for the new follow today. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Okay, there we go. He's already ready to go. Well, let's go ahead and do vengeance. Good, good, good. I sleep, so it's AFK, AFK farming. Ah, well, there you go. That's not so bad. I do that a lot with my Minecraft stuff. Like, I just finished an ink farm the other day. I AFK'd that overnight. Got myself a couple double chests full of ink, which is good. That's good stuff. You know, and some fish, but I don't need the fish that much. Death Knight doing its mark. Ooh. I'll tell you what, that's, that, that particular spell brings some damage. Uh-oh, Scrozy Wurzy has been reminded about something. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, see, I've been farming amber so I can craft your knight too. I'm still about three amber away, so I gotta go back in there and fight Cronus. I'm with you there, Scurzy. I understand that struggle for sure. For sure. Okay, Ra, go ahead and get a hit on him. Yeah, Deer Knight's a pretty cool spell. I, I really need to pick it up for my guy. Because that would give me a non... Um, that would give me a non-balance AoE spell. And that's one of the reasons why I want to get in there and craft it. He's super useful. You're going to start up your stream? Diamonds, have a good time. Have a good time in your stream. Hopefully I'll see you later online somewhere. Fantastic. Good luck on that. You got four two days ago and then another four the next day. That's pretty good, Scurzy. That's pretty good. I just haven't had a chance to get in, get in and farm Cronus or anything. Been too busy. Been too busy. And, and then over the weekends, since we had the um, double pet XP, I was training pets. So I trained a brand new pet for my death character. So I should hopefully be getting a new um, death PvP video out this week because I've buffed him up in several ways with a new pet and a few other things, so that's been pretty good. I'm excited about that. Okay, we need one more. There we go. Oh, we need two more. Come on, fight me. There we go. That's what I need. Yeah, so, yep. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. Okay, let's see here. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's do that. You've been crafting mega snacks on the side since you're still farming for more couch potatoes, so I can make it 69 plot farm. That's that's a good idea, Scurzy. I need to get more serious with mine. I mean, I usually have plenty of mega snacks by the time I hit pet double pet XP, so it's not that big of a deal. I just got to start using my gold, and I think I'm going to start trying to. Um, I, I need to get my pets up to the highest level too before I start training the next batch of them. So those are some of my some of the things I've been thinking about. You have what? Yeah, you have six characters. Yeah, see, I'm not farming with all six characters. I'm farming with, really, I'm I'm hardcore farming with two of them, semi farming with one of them. But they they've been doing a pretty good job about bringing what I need. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's put this up. There we go, just like that. Wow, time is flying on the stream today. Pretty good. So we finished the. Bastion part, or the first part of Bastion today, and now we are actually heading to the last wood, which is good. I didn't know if I was going to get this far in the Chrysalis. I forget how many different things are there. I'm going to have to double check. I'm going to, I'm going to 
I gotta look up the quest list. That way I can track which quest I'm on and where I'm going. How many quests, you know, I have yet to go. And I, yeah, I think I'll make a quest counter for the stream. That wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Okay, that'd be kind of neat. Something a little bit different. Let's throw up some vengeance and then we'll toss out our... We'll get Raw to do some damage. Vanessa Soul is online. Yes, another friend of ours. Vanessa Soul, very good. Yeah, so it's sort of hard. Yeah, to do six characters, that's, that's a lot of farming. That's a ton of farm, Mr. Jersey. A ton of farming you're doing there. Very good. Awesome. Hey, if you're interested in any of my content, I did put out a brand new Let's Play today for my Minecraft world. I went ahead and built up a new loading crane, my docks, and a new ship that's just docked in my docks. Um, the current theme I'm working... In my in my Minecraft in my section of the Minecraft world, is I'm working on a kind of a steampunk type of thing. So I'm trying to do things that are kind of steampunky in the way they're set up. So it's it's been kind of cool. You mean you still have six characters? So Mega Snacks are oh okay. So it's sparse between all six characters. No, I get that because my 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 two guys that do most of my um, farming, you know, they have the Mega Snacks between them. So I spread the Mega Snacks between all six of my characters too. I I'm with you right there. Yeah. Gosh, I can't believe I fizzled. Well, it looks like I looks like it worked out okay. We got Alexandria bringing the pain. You only have two characters run farms, and one ain't even a snack farm. It's for reagents. Ah, I get it. Yeah, I got two characters at farm, and it's mainly for mega snacks that they farm for. And then the other character, he does some mega snacks, but and I'm just trying different things with him. Yeah, good job. That was awesome, Viva. Very nice. Very nice. Your life carries a farming since he was the energy gear and energy post. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, see, I need to get get some good energy powder. going on. The eyes work differently than ours, so they will see us as their own kind. Yes, for sure. Follow me up the road. When we get to the yellow jacket sentry, just act naturally. Okay, when we get to the yellow jacket, just act naturally. Uh huh. A mouse and a wizard. Okay. Yeah. So when we get to the yellow jacket, don't act as if anything. It says, follow Divin. <laughs> you there. You're doing. Mm. Speak to him, but remember to act naturally. I'm acting naturally. Yes, drone. I'm speaking. Oh to yeah, you. he gives you a stats bonus. Yeah, I'd noticed that. Viva pointed that out to me. I hadn't noticed that until she did. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Yes, drone. I'm speaking to you. You are clearly under task. If you oh, have time to frolic, frolic about hornets. with hornets. Okay. The hornets are also delinquent on their nectar delivery. Mm, Go yes. to the Vespa cave and bring back a nectar cask. Hurry up. Okay, well, um, there we go. I'll tell you what, they're, they don't, the hornets, the yeah, the, they don't seem to be all that, um, all that swift. Okay, here we go. Uh, there we go, the cave. Let's do this thing. I like how your Hades gear turned out there. That looks pretty nice. I like the color combinations you used on that, Viva. Pretty, pretty, not pretty nice outfit. Me, I just um, stitched it because I didn't like the I got to, I, I didn't like the way it looked on my balance guy. Well, just gotta wait for it to load up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Doesn't sound friendly. <laughs> Doesn't. Yeah, they're probably not very happy. Defeat Velvet Hornet. Right, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, everybody's here. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, these guys won't be hard at all to defeat. Okay. Very good. You want to stitch it as well? Yeah. I, I went ahead and I had this crazy hair in my deck for like forever, so I said, oh, let's just stitch it with the crazy hair, and it, it looks hilarious. I kind of like the, kind of like this, the, kind of like the crazy head, hair outfit that I got. I was, it was funny, people asking where you got it. I can't remember. I, I picked it up on a quest, I think, in um, Safari or maybe. Or, you know, I just, I don't even remember. I just remember something that's in my inventory. I was like, where'd that come from? And my, and this isn't the only character that has it either. That's what's silly about it. I, I think my myth character has it too. So I think it must be a more recent drop that they added to the game somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It definitely has its own look to it. It was a Scroll of Fortune, you're pretty sure? Okay, so it must have been the Scroll of Fortune that I did. So I, I couldn't remember where it came from. I was like, yeah, yeah, I think it's cool too. I, don't, I just can't remember where it came from. No, no, okay, yeah, let's, let's do this. There we are, yeah. 
Well, that makes sense, Kersey. Thank you very much. Yeah, I saw that. I saw your I saw your little glitch there in the in the thing. It's good. Yeah, it's like you're sitting down. <laughs> yeah. You got the super crouch going. Oh, you've got like three of them, Scurzy? Okay. Well, now I know where it came from. That makes sense. That makes sense. I might check my other wizards and see if they got them too. That's funny. Very, very good. Awesome. Wow, stream's been going really well, guys. Thank you, everybody who's been stopping in and out of the streams today. I want to go ahead and say a shout out, a big shout out to Temprex for the follow today. Thank you very much. I also want to say thank you very much to um, Impatient Horses for the for the new follow today. You guys are awesome. Okay, let's see here. Let's go ahead and dump some of the stuff I know I'm not using. Let's do this. Let's do. Well, she'll probably kill him, but I'm going to go for it anyways. Asserting your dominance. It looks like you are, Viva. Bring it out. Yow. Fantastic. Thank you so much for the follow, Dylan. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'll be ready to go. But it looks like this might be the last fight I have tonight. So let's finish it strong. Um, Dylan, here's what you want to do, okay? I see, I, see, I see that right there. What you need to do is you need to go ahead and join my server. Let's see here. Uh, my Discord. Join my Discord. Let me get you a invite. Okay. Okay. Join my Discord. Send me a um, private message, and I will send you some information back for you to this for you to for you to um, see what you need to do so I can let you in. Okay. Um, but yeah, thanks for hopping in. Thank you for the follow, and um, talk to me on Discord, and I'll let you know what's going on. If that's if that works for you, okay, awesome, very cool. So we're almost done with this, but I've got a dinner to go to here in just a little bit. My wife just came and gave me the evil eye, wondering why I'm still playing the game. So you know, you got to got to keep the family happy, right? You know, and like I said, I've got we're taking my daughter to congratulation dinner because her and her husband they're moving, they're moving away this weekend, and he just got a brand new job, engineering job. So it'll be awesome. It won't let you message me. Um, now it will. You should be good. You should be good now, Dylan. I just went ahead and checked you off. Okay. Definitely wasn't friendly. Oh no! Thank you for thank you for hanging out for the stream. I will definitely be back again later this week. Um, thank you all for hanging out and enjoying fun. Oh, I need this egg, don't I? Oh yeah, this this Ezric stuff. Okay, let's hop in. There you go, Dylan. You should be good to go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, guys, um, I'm going to have to call it for today. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you, Viva, for, for um, running in with me and hanging out. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for hopping in. Thank you, especially Dylan and Impatient Horse for the brand new follows today. And Temperix, thank you very much for the sub. Hey, guys, if you get a chance you see Temperix on like, make sure you give him, a, give, give him a follow and go check out his stream. It's pretty awesome. You guys are pretty good. Dylan, you're going to have to send me some messages and I'll let you know what's going on. It might take a day or so before I get back to you. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. I'm going to call it a day. You guys are awesome. I've got to go get to a dinner. Thank you very much. This is Kimmy Say. Bye-bye.